today is all about never-ending progression. If you like dopamine nearly as much as me, you can just sit back and relax and get absolutely pumped full of it. Today we're going to create the strongest legs in the entire universe, even if he's wearing potatoes for shoes. He's just running endlessly. Every time he crosses the 10 meter mark, we get $5. I don't care if he has to run for the next 96 hours straight, he's gonna do it. And we can use our hard-earned money to upgrade our speed. And then we can run that 10 meters a little bit quicker than before. This poor guy has no idea what I'm about to put him through. Well, isn't he just adorable? I could watch him run forever. But instead of doing that, we need to speed up his speed a whole lot. All the way to 20. Now let's see how that does with his stamina. That's still perfectly fine. So let's give him just a little more. Turns out this guy is in shape. Because even now, that stamina is not moving a little bit. This process is still too slow. I want those legs moving at light speed. And that's why we created auto clickers. Naturally, by putting on a different pair of shoes, costume, or hair will give me an extra bonus. So even if we get a nice round haircut that's a D, that's going to give us 2.5 times gold and experience acquisition. And he just somehow looks a lot more serious at this point, even with his potato shoes. But now it's 13 gold instead of 5 every time he runs a full 10 meters. And we're going to get a pink tracksuit. That's going to double our stamina and stamina recovery. As for shoes or running in flip-flops, that's actually going to give me a, bit, a big speed multiplier, and it just looks good. It really ties the outfit together. Now look at us go. That actually all does make a really big difference. We're going a lot faster, earning all that money, so I'm just going to let him enjoy this outfit for a little while. We quickly saved the $500 that we're simply going to spend on speed. That's going to take us from level 37 to 51. That's got to be a big increase to speed. Once he gets cruising, we should be going through these 10 meter sections fast. Stamina is still staying nice and full, so I think it's time we do the challenge. And we're going to make an outright mockery of it by doing it in flip-flops. We've got to reach the end. we got 30 seconds to do it. We're halfway done. It's been 6 seconds. This is peak athletic performance. We've done it. Which means we can change our running machine. We have a goal distance of 50 meters now. And that's perfectly fine because the reward is a lot bigger. It'll take us longer to get there, but we make more money. Nothing can stop these flip-flops. Nothing. Based on what I saw, I think we can also complete a 100 meter challenge. And it looks like we're going to be able to. The last one was only 50. This little guy's going twice as far. It's probably because of that streamlined haircut. That also actually unlocked the running machine to go 100 meters now. So I might as well just do that one. The reward is even higher again, despite the fact we're now going 10 times as far as the initial one. Running so hard his eyes are bulging right out of his head. But at the same time, this is going way too slow. I can't wait seconds to hit 100 meters. More speed. I'm going to spend several thousand dollars just on speed. Now get running, you beautiful moron. Run and don't stop. We are finally starting to burn up a little bit of our stamina. We've got 25 in total. We're currently down to 19. I've decided to also get a relic. We got power water. That is important because that gives us sprint an extra 10%. Which is something we'll upgrade eventually. It's very expensive right now, so I'm not going to worry much about that. We are going to get a little bit of other stuff, though. I took stamina and stamina recovery up to level 18 and 19. That's going to help him stay a little bit topped up while he's running endlessly. To help our happy little moron along, I've gotten him another D-level haircut. That does actually combine to increase the golden experience acquisition to now three times. So now when he finishes his 100 meters, he gets $231. And we got a B-tier outfit. That's actually a big upgrade. We jumped all the way over C. So we're not going to wear the pink tracksuit anymore, but we are going to wear the green hoodie. We're going to get 8.4 times stamina and stamina recovery. I really do love the flip-flops though. I know I'm going to have to change them out. I just don't want to. He looks so good running in those. And we were rewarded with E-tier shoes. That's a step backwards. Since we saved up another $3,200, we're just going to buy a whole bunch of speed. From level 81 to level 103. Now we're running like the wind. Nothing can catch us now. But since I've been saving up these gems this entire time, let's try and get some better shoes. We're going to open the Shos box. We're going to spend 100 gems to get 11 pairs of shoes. We got a few pairs of Cs. But that's significant, especially because we can combine the weaker pairs all the way down. Uh, the C-level shoes are going to give us 3.3 times speed. And that's a huge improvement over where we were. We're running about 10 meters a second at this point. We're still not quite at the ridiculous level I want us to be. We'll get there, but I'm going to be impatient about it. Which is why we're going to open some hair boxes and get more streamlined D-level haircuts. And we got muscle shirts for the man without muscles. But if we combine all of these, they will combine into the D level. We can combine the D levels into a C level, so we get a new haircut. We went from 4.5 times to 6.3 times gold in experience acquisition. So running 100 meters now gets us $437, so we're making a lot more money and we're doing it quick. And we're going to need some more speed on top of that. 
that is still going to make a pretty big difference on top of our magical shoes that are no longer potatoes. And we've somehow evolved to like a pretty regular looking gym guy. At least I think. I've never even seen a gym in my life. We just did $5,000. Let's get a little bit of sprint and sprint probability. The numbers aren't going to go up by a huge amount, but over time these add up. We'll take them to level 10 for now. I'm going to uh, spare a few extra points for these because these upgrades need some help. And the rest can just go back into speed because that's going to be our money maker. There's also some entities we can race, everything from humans to Superman to the universe. We're going to start with the mightiest creature of all, the Courier. You know you're successful in life when you can beat a Courier in a race. He's not a very fast Courier. We are absolutely destroying him. Not really sure why we did that, but wasn't it rewarding? Well, I think we're more than overdue to escalate at this point. So I'm going to spend 500 gems opening 55 pairs of shoes, out of which we got two A tier. They're even fancy dress shoes or something with a green background. So let's combine our way down then we'll admire how good they are. We currently have a 4.2 times speed multiplier and by equipping these we now have a 13.4 speed multiplier so we're three times as fast. And again they really just suit the outfit. It's like the game's made by fashion designers. Okay let's see how fast he goes now. That's better. Now we're running probably 50 meters every second so we're five times as fast as we just were. That's the power of a good pair of shoes. For those of you that like going to the gym, put on a pair of these, you'll go much faster. This makes earning money so much quicker, especially when you get a runner's high. So with this new pair of shoes, we're going to challenge a 500 meter race and we're going to destroy it. It's all in the shoes. That means we can upgrade our running machine, we're now going to have to run 500 meters but we're going to get $2500 reward for doing it. Our inhuman stamina is still so strong we're hardly using any. I kind of lost track of how much money we have, we have 3 A 7000 529 so that might be 37,000. Whatever the case we're gonna spend it on more speed. That was a lot of upgrades so our speed's gonna be nice and quick. I guess we are making $2,500 for running 500 meters so we'll just let him enjoy this for a little while. He is sprinting every once in a while and that actually burns to the stamina so we need more recovery. So I'm gonna spend whatever $30,000 on stamina recovery and that's gonna be a big increase. Now that little green line shoots right to the top and hopefully that's enough to overcome his sprinting abilities. I also just clicked on the gold foot button. I wasn't sure what it did, but apparently it just feeds me endless amounts of money. So I won't complain with that. I'm pretty sure that just gave us like $75,000, which we're naturally going to turn into more speed. That's another 30 levels of speed and just way, way quicker progress. Should probably spend a few dollars on stamina at this point too, just to make sure we have a good reserve. That put us up to 1336 stamina, so we should be okay. I wish I knew earlier how often this gold button would show up. I could have been running on a gold treadmill many times by now. But better late than never, there is $100,000. So we'll spend that on speed, and only speed. And we've quickly saved up another 500 gems. Which means we're going to open up 55 hair boxes and hopefully get like a double S tier. And wow, we got lots of A tiers though. So we're currently getting 12.5 times gold. Now we're getting 51 times. So that's four, four times better. Over four times better. So every time this fashionable beauty finishes the treadmill, we are getting $20,000. We're going to try the one kilometer challenge. And so far, we're actually doing it. I wasn't sure we'd be able to do this one, but we're destroying it. It's all in those shoes. That means we can move to the one kilometer treadmill, but that's going to give us a ton of money every time we finish it. And we're quick enough that we can do a kilometer fairly quickly. This one is starting to eat up our stamina, so we would have actually have to spend some money there. And I forget about my money treadmill thing. It's giving us $5,000 every nanosecond now, so that's going to be some easy money. I don't really know how much money we have anymore, but it's just a lot. So we're going to spend some of that on speed for sure, but we're also going to spend some of that on stamina because that needs to catch up. And stamina recovery too. I know at some point these are going to start to work against me. I spent the rest of the money on sprint and sprint probability. I mean that's probably going to help I guess. I'm not really sure. I just click on things and wait for stuff to happen. I've saved up a absolute ton of money so that's all going straight to speed. So we're going from uh, 53 whatever meters all the way up to 60 meters. That might not seem that impressive but that's still like a 15% increase. And we were already very fast. I think it's time we have another race. We do get money for beating these guys. This one's a biker. Given our... I think we're going to win this one. He is at like the 5 meter mark. Which means we've unlocked the Thief. Luckily for us, we have rocket boots attached to us. We're not going as quickly ahead of him as we were the last guy, but we've also left him behind. To be fair, he was held down by large bags of money. So we're going to sit back and relax for a few minutes and just let him run his heart out. He's been running and running. Look at all the money we have. I'm going to spend that on speed. It's not going to be a ton of upgrades, but it's going to be enough that we are still going a lot faster. And then of course we have the golden treadmill going again, so we're just going to pile on the money. For now it's just us and our treadmill. 
our methamphetamine infused treadmill that makes us get a real runner's high. We're gonna spend so much money on speed today, he's gonna be unstoppable. We're currently going 66 meters, I believe every second, 69 meters, that's a 5% increase. But that definitely tells me we're gonna need to make a little bit more speed. And because we need more speed, we're gonna open another 55 shoes boxes, and these ones should have better odds because I'm a higher level. Well, you know what? We got a whole bunch of free shoes. That's the important thing to remember here. And we can still combine them all. They're a lot of low-level stuff, but they do stack up over a little bit of time. So we actually did get an extra A, so our speed went up by a one times multiplier. So we are now making money faster than ever before. It doesn't take as long to run a full kilometer. I managed to combine runner's high with the golden treadmill, so that should be some very easy quick money. Which we're naturally going to spend all on speed. From 76 meters a second to 77, so those are getting expensive, prohibitively so. But I can get some cheap upgrades, like these only cost $816 so far, now they're costing thousands. But spin probability would actually be a good thing if we could manage to level that up to a reasonable amount, because it's almost up to 10%. Sprinting obviously uses a lot of stamina, but it makes us go three times faster. Maybe we'll have better luck unlocking some better hair for more gold. We can only open 11 of them right now, but I'm feeling lucky. Can I have an S tier? Nope, we got a bunch of garbage. I've got an idea of how to start spending my fortune maybe a little bit differently. I'm going to see how much I can get my spin probability up. We're at 8.2% currently, spending all that money. It took us up to 13.3, which is actually like a 50% increase. So we should end up sprinting a lot more, and that's going to give us a lot of extra speed, experience, and money. I've saved with some more gems, so I'm, I'm trying very, very hard to get some better shoes. But I'm not feeling particularly lucky in this moment. We did get a pair of A shoes, actually. I saw that. Which would have actually added a lot of the speed onto there because we've got a stack of four of them now. And wouldn't you know it, we got five B tier, so that can turn into one more A tier. Which means we could turn the five of these to go from the 14% they were at to 27. I think we were at like 12 or 13%. Then we got an extra A. Now we're double A, so we just basically doubled our speed. And for the first time we have white shoes, but now we're going to go super quick. There's a thousand, uh, one kilometer or a thousand meters. There's another kilometer. There's another kilometer. So let's find out if our newfound speed is faster than a police officer. Wow, we are a lot faster than a police officer. We are already done. He's 25% of the way there. And we're going to try the next challenge. We've got to run to the end. We're slightly ahead of that purple line. Now we're way ahead. The sprint actually really helps. Okay, we did that in two thirds of the time. That means the new running machine is going to go from 4 A's to 25 A's every time we finish it. But we're going to go through stamina quite a bit quicker on this treadmill, so I've got to upgrade that. But that's what we got all this money for. So stamina recovery is going way up, stamina itself, and then the rest can go to sprint. I don't know if I can sprint endlessly, but I can sprint for quite a while. As long as we can make it to 5 kilometers, we're going to be rich enough to buy more upgrades. But at this point, it looks like we're going to need a lot of stamina recovery. Then again, I only have a B tier for stamina and stamina recovery, so we're going to need more clothes. So we're going to open up a few of those. We did get more B tiers, and that's actually going to help us a lot. I opened an A tier along the way. I didn't even notice. For now, we're just going to combine that way we're sure to get our maximum bottom. But now we need to get 20, uh, 20 times multiplier for stamina and stamina recovery. And we're actually wearing a military uniform. But we're going to be able to run pretty much endlessly with this kind of recovery. Now we're going to try an underwater race. I have 30 seconds to go somewhere and I'm underwater. This one might be a close one. If we could sprint at some point, I would feel a lot better about our odds. Okay, we're not in a very sprinty mood underwater, which is a shame because we would get a lot of gems if we could actually complete this one. I believe in you. Just start running faster. That's actually crazy considering how fast we are. Well, I still have my money producing treadmill. He loves to sprint here. He just won't do it when we're underwater. We need to also try for some better hair so we get more gold. So far, it's not looking optimistic. I thought that since I was a higher level, I might get some better chances here. I am pretty close here though. If I get one more B tier, I'll get another A tier, which will put me into double A tier. I also remember there's those relic boxes, so things like this will probably make a big difference. Like this gave me an extra 1% runner's high speed. Some of these other things are probably a lot better. I am also about to hit level 20, so I'm going to convince myself that that gives me higher odds of good things happening. I just randomly opened one of these and actually got the B tier haircut I need. Because we can combine those into another A tier, which put that up by a 4 times multiplier, but now if I combine these 5 together, we go from a 55 to a 97 times gold in experience acquisition. So we're making gold at an even stupider rate than before, and now our camo matches our camo that match our white shoes. Okay, all of this vast fortune we have is once again going into speed upgrades. It's going to go through it very quickly because upgrades are expensive. But that was actually good, we added 10 meters a second. Then if we run ourselves along the gold treadmill for a minute, we can save up another large fortune. 
that I'm going to spend on sprint probability to go from 13.5% to 15 point something. 16.2, that was actually a pretty considerable upgrade also. So we're going to try the end of water thing again. I'm hoping my sprint actually activates once in a while. It's very close. Okay, the sprint actually started going there. We pulled ahead of the purple. If we could sprint just a little more, we might actually still do this. I think we're going to make it because we sprinted again. We did it. 300 gems. And I went ahead and tripled that because gems are everything. We know of a thousand of them. So I think we're going to try and get some better shoes. Maybe some S or double S tier. Because we have a thousand gems, we can open 110 of these to hopefully get something amazing. We did get some double A tiers actually. So let's just do that again. If we get some more double A tiers, uh, yes I am. This time we weren't as lucky, but we did get one A tier. But getting more double A tiers took our speed way up to a 35 times multiplier. And we can combine our way down the list. We're actually really, really close. If we got one more A tier, we get a double A, which would put us into S tier. So while we debate our next move, we're just going to sit here and enjoy some treadmill action. I've also just acquired one of these things. That lowers my stamina consumption by 0.1%. Okay, I'm pretty sure I can push the shoes into S tier now. We just need a little bit of luck. And let's see if we can get there it is. That's all we needed. So now we can go from a 38 times speed multiplier to a 65 for the dressy S shoes. And these look pretty wild as you get deeper down through the numbers. But now we're going to be faster than lightning. 5 kilometers is going to blink right by. We now have a 10 kilometer race. We got to see if we can beat the pink line. And I think we're going to do it especially with a sprint. I didn't think we we're going to make that look so easy. That means we get a 10 kilometer running machine. Which obviously is going to take a little more effort to get through. But it's going to pay out even better again. So he's going to spend the next 18 months doing exactly this and we'll come back with some even better upgrades. Today we're going to obliterate the speed of light. And that's probably going to take a few minutes because we're currently this fast. But I've got time if you do. The goal of this game is to keep upgrading your speed until you're the fastest thing in the universe. While we're waiting for the race to start we need to click as many times as we can that's going to increase my speed. So to start without using my auto clicker at all we're going to get to about 130 clicks. Which obviously is a big increase to the speed, so we need to run as far as we can. And we've out of an AFK button, so I don't actually have to sit here for this part if I don't want to. But I'm going to sit here and watch him hop along anyway. We're up to our first victory. That's one point. We use the flags to buy upgrades. So you can see we're not exactly the fastest on the map yet. These lines going past are people moving at light speed, but we're going to get faster than them. Turns out flag number three is really far away, but we did get two which isn't even halfway enough to buy a basic egg, let alone one of the really, really good ones. It costs 250000 I do get a free spin though, and that's going to obviously add up to two times luck for 15 minutes. Uh, and now it's time to click again, so I'm going to use my auto clicker, and that's going to help get us a little bit further. Clicking time is over. Yeah, that feels faster. So off we go. It's on AFK mode, so as soon as the race starts, it launches me into it. There's flag number one. And number two. I think this is me here at the bottom. We've obviously gone basically nowhere. Everyone else is lapping us a thousand times. <laughs> but there's number three. Smash through it onto the next one. By the time this round ends, we have seven trophies in total. Our top speed is 485. But we can use that to buy a new pet, which is an uncommon flame. And if we equip that, that's going to give us plus 200 speed. And it's already ready to click again, so I'm just going to do that manually. And we're off again, this time only 363 speed because I didn't use my auto clicker. But while I'm waiting, I'm going to buy two times clicks. And I'm also going to increase my luck so we can get rarer pets. I want to be a blur of light too. But for now we got five wins, which is enough for another pet and we have much better luck about getting better pets. So let's take another one of these. Hopefully it's something absolutely amazing and uncommon flame. I'll take it. That's going to give me another extra boost. I'm going to use my auto clicker again to make this work. So we'll go extra, extra, extra fast. So doing that has pumped me up to about 1000 speed. And that looks something like this. We're definitely going quicker. It's hard to get the context right now, but we're flying. Especially considering we just smashed through door number three and we have a minute 40 left. And there's 10 wins. 10 wins in a single race. And look at that down the bottom. We're getting so close to the next notch. Okay, I can actually buy three of these now because I have $15 to spend. And that's going to give us three commons. But I'm pretty sure I can actually craft those, yeah, into a better one. Because that gives us almost as much as the uncommon. Another race done, we've got 13 flags. So let's open more a few of these. Hopefully we get one more uncommon. Perfect. And then a common on top of that. But we can combine those uncommons into a better uncommon. Now that's 187. This is 250. I've also bought the in-game auto clicker at this point now. That way I don't have to do anything at all. I can just hang out and watch it go by. I've been at this for like 10 minutes already and everyone's still going by me so quickly. We're going to need to put in a lot of time. 
But since I already have 15 wins, I'm going to save it for 25. We can start getting better pets for better results. And we also get to find out how good the game's auto clicker is. Our base speed is 657. Yeah, the game's auto clicker is way better than mine. Our top speed's now up to 1.3 thousand and that's going to keep going. Okay, we've over doubled our speed thanks to the in-game auto clicker. 2300, off we go. Yeah, other people aren't disappearing quite as quickly anymore, so that's a very optimistic sign. Plus, we're breaking through door number 3, 149. We were doing 140 before. We're way faster. I mean, just look at them go. Look at those tiny little legs. I just broke through the 500 meter mark. Hey, oh, we've got 48 flags to our name. That means we can buy one of these. We have a 0.03% chance of one of those, so that's what I want. Not sure we're going to get that. We got a common ghost which is still 650 speed, so that removed 150, so that gave us a 500 speed boost. And the auto clicker this time seems to be giving 4 per click. Don't know why, don't care, I'll take it. 3,500 speed, we're like 50% faster than we just were, so off we go. I can't wait to see how fast this can go in the end. And look at us on the meter down below, we've almost passed the first bar, we're 3 quarters of the way through it. He always just looks so happy to be getting his workout. He's really just appearing happy though. We're forcibly making him run again and again and again. His whole existence is running faster and faster for our entertainment. But speaking of which, we need more pets. We need very good pets. Common ghost and a rare skull. The rare skull is 775 speed. So if we put all the best on there, that's 650, 650, 775. Plus the auto clicker, so we're going to go extra quick. I just realized I can see other people's top speed. That one's 66, there's 173,000. I'm going to upgrade to two times wins also, so whatever points we get every race, it's now doubled so we can get those rarer eggs faster. I've officially circled the board once. I'm onto the yellow zone down here. We passed one bar. That left us with $113. Which means we can open three of these. Hopefully we get something extra extra rare. Nope. But I've combined them all into what I could, so we have an 812, 775, and 700. He never breaks. He never flinches. That's got to be bad for his brain. But he can't have had a very good one to start with if this is what he chose to do with his life. But we're at the 1 minute mark, we're just about to hit the 1000 mark. So we'll go almost 2000 on this one, but we need to go over 100,000. So I crossed onto the new board with about 36 seconds remaining. So that's a good sign and that's going to keep escalating pretty quickly from here. That actually gave us enough to get this color egg. So we're going to open one of these and we're going to get an even better pet. It's common, but it's a globule. And that's 1750 speed, which is actually really crazy. Then I'm going to go stretch my legs while this idiot makes me a bunch of money. So our pets are now worth like 4,300 extra speed. And my extra clicking is apparently reading plus nines. I'm not sure if that actually matters, but look at our speed go. That's going to go like over 9,000. Those pets really do make a difference. So if I can happen to find a better one, that would be awesome. Okay, our speed's going to be about 10,000. That looks like this. And everyone else still blows past me, but not as quick as they did before. And we're coming up on uh, flag number three, but we do need to accelerate up to top speed as well. But we're going to buy faster acceleration so we don't have to wait as long to hit top speed anymore. I've already gone off the first bar on the bottom and we're not even a minute in. And by the one minute mark, we're almost at the $25,000 line or $10,000 line. So this is going to make us really rich really quickly for even better pet pets. I guess the pets are also just forced to do this with us. They're pretty much like a battery pack. We just use them until we're done with them, then we toss them in the garbage. And I'm about to hit the end of the next bar, so we're actually suddenly making really good progress here. We're coming up to 100,000 as the next stop. We're not going to make it this time, and we're not a blur of light yet. We might be to some people, but I feel like we're not that fast. Okay, that left us with $491. So we're going to buy a few more of these for sure. There's a rare one. That's going to be insanely good. And another rare one. Uh, those are 2,000 speed by themselves, so we're going to go ahead and equip everything we can. That's a huge bonus. And our speed is going to be 30% faster than it just was, plus the extra acceleration. And that looks like this. Okay, we're flying out of the gate. There's two, there's three. <laughs> that was quicker. And we're actually so far winning. We're the fastest in this lobby so far. That guy might pass me, but we have more acceleration. And we're actually about to hit the 100,000 mark, so we're going to lap the entire board. That's the first time we've ever done that, and there we go, blowing through the first gates again. Now that we've got thousands of dollars to spend, we're going to buy thousands of dollars in pets as soon as I can manage to control this ridiculous speed. Alright, we need two of these extra rare type pets. It's a common banana, but that's going to be a really good common banana. We got an uncommon cherry. 
Uh, I think I do want some more of these uh, 25 win ones too, because if we combine them all, they could actually be better. There's a rare skull and common ghosts. So we're going to uh, craft them all into whatever they can turn into and equip the best. The new ones are 3,700 and 3,500. So our speed is up uh, hugely again. There's one gate, two gates, and three gates. He's running in like slow motion. Look at him. We're going so quick that we've moved backwards. But since we're on AFK mode, we're just going to let him run for a little while and build up some extra money now. After that last race, we're left with $6,500. So it's time to buy three of the rare $1,000 pets. Hopefully we get two rares and a common. Okay, we're going to open another three of those to hopefully get at least one more rare. Then we can get a, well, we can turn those into shinies. And we're getting so quick, like I touch the arrow key and I cross the entire lobby. And that looks like this. There's gate number one, two, and three. And our acceleration is so stupid, we're way out in front so far. They'll catch us and pass us, but our speed is up to uh, 23,000. At this one, I've definitely gone around the board a few times, and we've made many thousands of dollars again. So let's open more of these. Hopefully we get another rare for a shiny rare. There we go, a rare droplet. Which means we can craft that, and that goes from 3.9 all the way up to 4.9. So that's an extra 1,000 boost, plus all these clicking. I think we're going to have a new speed record for ourselves. I've come back a few minutes later, I have $55,000 but seem to have broken the game somehow. Okay, so we're going to open uh, three of these, which are $10,000 eggs, which means $10,000 pets. Commons and uncommons. Luckily we could open another uncommon, and another uncommon. But that means we have some pretty uh, intensely strong, 12,400 plus two eight and a halfs. And that's put our top speed up to about 60,000. So it's not crazy yet, but it's definitely getting there. So after that we could buy one more $10,000 pet which gave us a rare lucky. The speed of that is 11,300 by itself. The problem I'm having now is it seems to be hard to get our speed above about this. But I never noticed you could do these temporary boosts too, like we can get 15 minutes at three times luck. Why would we not do that? And three times wins for 15 minutes? I don't know some of these stacks, so we can use a three times win first and then the two times, and apparently they do. So we can just stack all of this up, and then we're going to get some phenomenal luck. So then when I buy a $10,000 pet without getting, st I'm stuck. I legitimately can't move anywhere because I'm too quick. I don't know if there's a way to slow down the walking, but it doesn't seem so. I think that's because I boosted my acceleration too much. So whatever the case, we'll just dive into this next race. Uh, our top speed is uh, we've broken a new record. So we're going into 72,000. And that's going to look something like this, which is very quick. There's the gates. Plus, we're going to make a lot of money and stuff this round because of all our temporary boosts. Okay, we finished this race. $41,000. The hardest part of this is actually trying to just buy the right pets. I actually landed right where I needed to that time, so we're going to buy three $10,000 pets. Common, common, and common. That extra luck is really coming in handy for us, so I guess we'll buy one more. We got another lucky rare, so if we combine them all, that's going to give us a nice boost. So we have 12,000, 11,000, 8,500. If we craft them all, then we can equip them all. 12, 11, 11. I didn't realize the next one only costs 75,000, so we can actually save up for that pretty quick. A few races later, we've hit almost 100,000 top speed, and it got almost $100,000 in the bank. Dan, I ran too fast and ran straight off the edge of the map. Now I'm stuck. But just letting it run by itself, I am getting incrementally faster and faster and faster, so I'm all for this. Okay, it's only 75,000 to open this one, so we can afford a few of these. We got an uncommon disco, which is better than a common. One more is simply a common called snot. But they're 19 and a half and 18,000 respectively, so that's going to be a big boost. And while we're waiting for the next race to start, let's spin the wheel a few times if we can. And that's going to land us on two times wins for 15 minutes. Plus 112,000 top speed, so that should get us to new heights. Time to buy another $75,000 disco, which gave me a six or $7,000 boost by itself. And we're going fast, but we're not going fast enough. So let's try the limited Halloween egg. When we opened three of them, uh, I got something epic out of that. So apparently that's plus 50%, plus 70%, plus 60%. I'm not really sure what that means. Oh, that simply adds plus 75% speed. I feel like that's pretty unreasonably strong. I'm not entirely sure how those new pets work, but I had them equipped until the clicking was done and then I equipped the new pets so I have 130,000 speed currently. Which definitely makes me one of the fastest people on the map, like we're lapping everyone, we're now the blurred lines. I think the lines we're seeing are people that are stopped. I've decided to clean it up a little bit too and hide all the pets. They're still there, you just can't see them. A few minutes later, and when you look at that, we have enough for a $250,000 pet. The hardest part is just landing properly on there, but we got poison, which there's a 34% chance of. 
Poison's also good for 29,000 boost. Then it's back to blowing through the gates at light speed and beyond. What do you think's in here? A mythic meme egg. <laughs> it's completely garbage at this point. But our top seed's up to 150,000, so that was the first, like, six gates. And we're blowing through other gates all the way along. There's another one, and we're about to hit another one, and there's the first third of the track done. All right, to help expedite this process a little bit, I've bought some more points. Not a ton, but enough to buy one more of these super rare pets. And we got another poison, so if we get one more of those, we can make a shiny poison, which would be unreasonably good. So all this has pushed our speed up to about 160,000, which is really, really quick. And I'm pretty sure that's without the acceleration boost, so we're moving along at a pretty good rate. Time for one more ultra rare pet. It's a common heart, which is still actually better than my shiny whatever. Look at the top wins, 14 billion. I've got 41,000 currently. So I think the next logical step for this with this blazing speed is to let this run for a few weeks and see how quick we come back to then. For now, I'm pretty happy th with this result. Today we're back with our favorite victim and we're going to force him to drink. His cup looks happy and so are we. Every time we finish one of these adorable happy drinks, we get a bit of money. But our mouth also gets full, so we need to manually make that get fixed and then we also need to bang on our chest to make the next part go away. These processes will happen by themselves very slowly, so we're going to try and make them so quick they're not slow. We have upgraded our uh, sipping power just a little bit, so at least we can take down that cup and less drinks. That means more money faster. Uh, but clearly digestion speed is not keeping up with this. So let's make that happen a whole lot faster. Look at it go now. Maybe also drink speed while we're at it. That might mean the part where it's, yeah, in the mouth. So drink speed is going to be a big one for us today. That way as we're drinking, hopefully we can drink uh, it out of our mouth quicker than we can put it in. Our stomach digestion is probably not going to love that, but we'll fix that too eventually. So some of the bigger ones today are simply going to be drink speed and digest speed. Mouth and stomach size can also go up a little bit. That's only going to be to my benefit. Already, it's actually getting pretty close to being able to drink faster than we can. I'm not really sure what the teapot is. I just clicked on it and it's going for 120 seconds. Okay, we're drinking out of a teapot. Not entirely sure what that does yet, but we're going to enjoy it. Well, long story short, we have $1,700 to spend on upgrades, which is simply going to be drink and digest speed all over again. The upgrades get expensive quickly. But no, like I can rapid fire this thing. It actually goes as quick as I can drink it. I also decided it was time for a new haircut and we got a DT your haircut which basically gave me a 50 percent increase to sipping and drinking now we have a three-quarter sleeve light blue shirt that's gonna make my mouth and stomach size three times bigger while we're at it we're gonna need a new table we got a b tier and a chair which is a c tier so now i can actually rapid fire this for a little while and we can just reap the upgrades and then it takes no time at all to get seventy three hundred dollars which we're gonna spend all on drinking and digest speed could probably make the sip power a little bigger we don't want to do that too much though because we're gonna get ahead of ourselves same with drinking power from there we're gonna make our mouth and stomach a lot bigger i have a plan so now when we uh drink we move the meters very little so it's time for the times 10 challenge as long as i can drink 10 of these in whatever amount of time then we're gonna pass the challenge i think we're up to this task I'm not really sure where the meter is. I think I've broken things already, but we'll know pretty soon if we're a winner, and I'm pretty sure we are. Look at this guy. This is drink number 10. We've succeeded. So now we can move on from what's apparently coffee to a strawberry smoothie, but we're going to get six times the earnings. So that means every time I drink this hearty thing, especially when we're on fire, we're going to make so much money. It takes a long time to get through this, though, but we made, I don't know how much money that was. It was a lot. But because it takes so long to drink through this thing, I'm going to have to increase my drink power, otherwise known as sip power. We're going to take that up to level uh, let's call it 20. Also critical sip probability and critical sip damage. Maybe also drink power. That's got to do something too. So now our mouth is filling up quicker than we can drink it but that was bound to happen. We just need to upgrade our mouth power again. But every time we drink one of these I'm pretty sure we get $3,000. So let's spend that on some extra drinking speed so our mouth can take it down quicker and I think that might help me. Yeah we're back to keeping up with our drinking. But I too am tired of this haircut. So let's spend just a little money. We got another D tier. All right we're gonna spend a little more money. Wait we really don't want to get a better haircut today. I am astounded by our luck. Luckily, we can combine the ones we have into a C tier. Now we'll get sip and drink times three. And he honestly looks so much more put together now. We're also taking much bigger drinks, so we're going to have to upgrade our mouth and digestion power again. But at the rate we're going, we'll be able to afford that upgrade in no time. So digest speed had fallen behind anyway, so we'll get it up to level 21. And the drink speed is up to level 27 now. So that should help even it out. Digest speed, we need a little more, but drink speed looks okay. So we have $20,000 to spend on digest speed. That will hopefully make it so we're digesting faster than we're consuming. Looks like it might be about balanced, and that's perfectly fine by me. I forgot that as we've been leveling up, we've been getting awarded all kinds of gems. We just need to actually take them. 
I'm a big boy and I can take big sips. You know what? I think we're ready for the challenge. I've just got to drink 10 of these and I can drink them in three, four drinks. We're going to make this challenge look easy. And probably every other challenge, depending on our haircut and outfit. We're done. 9,000 experience, $39,000. $3,900, I don't know. 28A. But we've moved on from strawberry smoothie to tea infusion. This is where it gets serious. It's definitely going to be harder to drink and it fills up our mouth in a hurry. Basically, what I'm trying to say is we need more mouth power. We need a lot more, but our earnings are going to be huge. Drink speed, yes, level 27 to 56. Did that solve our problem? That actually did. Digestion is going to be trouble now, but we can also fix that. Well, since he for some reason can't digest 10,000 teas an hour, let's help him out with that. Simple digest speed from level 28 to 43. Yeah, that seems a little better. Everything seems in balance, so we could just endlessly drink tea and we'd all be happy. I think I want more earnings, so I bought another table and it's a B quality. And I've got two of those now, so that took it from 12 to 18 times experience in gold, so we're getting more earnings than ever before. I never really paid attention visibly to his drinking technique. He just kind of rams his jaw in there and sucks for a second. He has to take a breather in between because he has the lungs of a pigeon. But inevitably with our 28 A's we need to give him more drinking power because I can't stand him stabbing himself in the mouth a million times to drink a single tea. So sip power is going from level 20 all the way up to level 56. So he's going to drink this a lot quicker but the mouth is definitely going to fill up so we need more drinking power. We're also going to go for a better chair. These cost 10 gems each to open and that's already a good one because we have a B already. There's what we're looking for. So now drink speed and digest speed just went up times 12. That's a colossal increase. So we don't have to worry about that for a while. Look at us go. We're drinking so fast we're glowing. That is in fact what happens if you drink tea really fast. We used our newfound power to very quickly save up a ton of money. So we're going to go ahead and increase our sip power a lot. Hopefully that doesn't blow up in our face. Our power is so strong that we can actually get through this. Our mouth almost instantly gets full but we can wash it down right away. But we get around this by installing a bigger mouth on ourselves. The same is probably going to have to be done for stomach because inevitably what goes to my mouth usually ends up in my stomach. Look how much better that is. We hardly get any of our mouth full. We're now going to do the tea infusion challenge. We can drink this in five drinks so I think we're going to be okay. Turns out we weren't. We had that much left to go so we need a bigger mouth power. So sip power is going to go from level 80 to 86. That might be enough to do it. I decided to roll for a new haircut and I got a double A quality. That's actually going to be huge. We were at C so we had three times sip and drink power. Double A is 360 times and it's going to give us a slightly different look. Pretty sure we're going to destroy destroy that in one drink but then look how long it takes that to digest. So we're going to need more mouth digestion power. So we're going to roll for some chairs for a second. I think now that we're leveling up we should have a better chance of finding some better stuff. We need to get above C tier. There's a B. We may have had an A tier we didn't actually utilize yet. Don't remember how or when we got that. We have a 60 times drink and digest speed. Now we put these away properly. Perfect. So now we have, all we have to do is take down 10 of those. There's one. We're going to cruise past this challenge. We made that look stupidly easy. Now we can find out what our next drink is. Matcha latte. No idea what that is, but it's five times the earnings. And we're already up to uh, destroying it in one gulp, but we need a bigger mouth. Luckily, these upgrades are still fairly cheap, so we can get a whole bunch of those and then even bigger stomach size. Not that I care, but mouth size it is. Now when we put the lumpy green goo in our mouth, we have just a little more room. We might need more digest speed as well too. That's starting to get fuller. Digest speed had fallen behind drink speed, but we have lots of money for either, so both get an upgrade. Drink speed is all the way up to 75 now, so that means that that yellow bar on the left should go away even quicker and our digest on the right goes away fully. So I can actually just leave him here rapid firing drinks for a little while. An hour of gorging later. We have one B money. But we can actually drink these so fast I think we might be able to straight up take the challenge right away. We'll let our marvelous haired weirdo give it a try. So far so good we're able to absolutely put these away in a hurry. One more to go and then we'll be done. Then we move on to something called the Dalgona. I have no idea what this actually is, but we're going to put it in our mouth anyway. Right away, I can tell we're going to need a bigger mouth and maybe digestion speed. So to do that, we simply got a new shirt. We're maybe going to open a few of these just to be sure. A nice green hoodie. That will take us from a three times mouth and stomach size to a 60 times. So now as we're consuming whatever this is, our mouth is going to get full much slower. But we obviously still need more digestion power. Luckily, we've been saving up money for a while, so we're going to watch the money slowly go down. 
And we're also going to get digest speed. Once this gets down to about one solid B, we're going to go back to drink speed and spend the remaining B on this. That's going to take us well past 140. There we go. Well, we're still not keeping up, actually. We can drink it, but not in a huge hurry. We are able to take it down in actually two drinks, which in itself is impressive. So let's go back to our very first drink of the coffee and drink 20 of them. Because for that, we get a reward, but also gems. Because we did 20, we get 20. Then we have a cooldown before we can do those again, so let's buy some more chairs. We're going to open that 11 at a time for 100 gems. We got two more eight here, so that's a big increase for us. Because that's going to give us 100%, so 120 times drink speed and digest speed. I don't know why he's making that mouth, but he's got his game face on. Okay, now we're going to drink 30 coffee Kool-Aids. And once we're done that, we're going to go back to drinking this thing to see if our digestion can keep up with it yet. It still can't quite, but it's getting closer. So let's put all of our money into drink speed. That only gave us one extra level. So we're going to need another 11 chairs, hoping for more eight here. That was as bad as it gets. We're going to do it one more time, and it's even worse. Well, that's okay, because we can combine some of these into the next type, which combine into the next type, and into the next type, which at least gave us one more A. That one actually might have been able to make up the difference, because I think we're able to just endlessly do this now. We need better stomach digestion, but drink-wise, we're actually doing it. So digest speed from level 102 to 120 might tip the balance. No, we're still going to need more of that, but we're doing a lot better. What I also need are better rewards. I didn't realize how bad our tables were. So if we open a few of those, hopefully we'll get something even better. We did at least get one more B quality, so that's got to count for something. And it actually did. It took us from times 18 to times 24, so more gold for us. I've decided that I might as well keep force feeding our favorite moron drinks until he does the 100 challenge because we'll get so many gems for it. But while we're once again waiting on our cooldown, we need more experience in gold, so we need a better table. So naturally we're going to open 11 and be really disappointed in the results. But at least we can combine some of them forward so we can combine all of our Bs into an A, so for a 60 times gold in whatever multiplier. And we have something different to look at, but look at all that gold we get now. That's going to help a little bit for our drinking speed, which we can actually upgrade quite a bit and then digest bee needs some help as well. I guess mouth size and stomach size probably also need a little bit of help. It's not going to take much to make these back anyway. Well, it's a lot quicker. We're not digesting faster than we're drinking, but it's a lot better. After a few more healthy minutes of force feeding this moron, we have 2B6829A money. And we really need to fix our drink speed. So we're going to buy as many levels of that as we can. We're also going to increase our mouth size, and hopefully that's enough to balance this out. It's still not, but it's definitely getting closer. And the extra rewards we're getting are getting us lots of gold, but also experience. Well, I finally finished all the challenges, so there's an extra 100 gems. So let's try for better chairs. 11 at a time, we have a double A chair that's exactly what we needed. That's going to take us from 150 times drink and digest speed to 360. I suspect that's enough, yup, to drink these non-stop with no problem at all. So we're going to sit here for a moment and enjoy this victory. Plus, he looks somehow more stately while sitting on this chair in his green sweater. But we still need much better rewards. So we're going to open 11 of those. We did get an A tier. But we should probably also do the 10 challenges of whatever this is because we're able to absolutely smash it at this point. And then we can move on to our next drink, which is a mango lassi. But it has like 15 times the rewards of the last one, so as long as we can drink it fairly quickly, we're going to be doing really good. Digest speed is keeping up at our mouth power. We need to be able to take bigger sips. So let's try and increase our mouth and stomach size with a new outfit. Okay, we got another A tier, so that'll double it. We're actually going to roll the dice one more time and fail. But that's not the end of the world. We'll combine our way up to see what we land with. So we have three A tiers. We went from 40 times the mouth size to 120. So now we're going to have this one be a little bit more manageable. Actually a lot more manageable because we can just endlessly have them doing this right here. We've already saved up 12 Bs and we just hit level 30. So whatever we're drinking is amazing. So let's spend this absolute fortune on more digest speed uh, and also drink speed because we really just need to be able to drink endlessly and I think we're just about there. I got this weird power going. I'm gonna oh we won't let us do the challenge while we're doing it. We're not allowed to have any fun once we're on fire. Okay I just bought my digest speed up to 187 which hopefully is enough and in fact it might be to complete the 10 times challenge i just don't know if we can drink them quick enough we're pretty quick but we gotta get 10 of those down in 30 seconds but i believe in this guy i'm pretty sure every time we drink them we get a second added to the clock anyway i think we're gonna do it and it's done which brings us to boba tea which is probably gonna be insanely hard to drink and really 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 slow so i'm gonna leave him here jamming a straw into his mouth for the next
next year and a half. Who wouldn't love a game where we get to send cats into battle for our profit? A little bit slowly at first, albeit, but don't worry, we're gonna pick up the pace. For now, I'm just gonna send cat after cat in to fight the dogs. They're having a bit of a tough time, so let's send in a tank. Probably should have started with a tank to absorb some of that damage, then with the little attacky cats in behind it. I mean, I feel like we're winning, but not by a great deal, and I wanna be winning by like, a lot. But now that my tank is pushing forward to the front of the pack, we're gonna start to push them back, and I'll throw another tank out there as well. So not only do we get to murder each and every one of them, but we destroy, destroy their, their very home, home so no more can ever live there again. And there we go, 1680 experience. And that means I've unlocked Axe Cat. Then with our experience, let's get cat production speed, and also more money increased. Every time we kill something, we get more money for more cats. Also, let's upgrade Axe Cat, because I assume it's good because it's new, and then Tank Cat. This is just the beginning. We just conquered China, apparently we're into Thailand now with our cats. Axe Cat is pretty expensive, so I'm gonna start with the tank right away to start pushing them back, or at least eating some of that damage. So, by the time he's there, we're gonna have another one running up behind him to kind of step up the damage a little bit. We're gonna throw a few of those out. I've just realized I only can save up 100 cents at a time, so I can't even afford an Axe Cat right now. Wait, we're working our way up there. I've just gotta level it up. We can do 150 cents now. Now we can afford an Axe Cat. And there it is, galloping up the rear, with an axe bigger than its head. And it looks like it's doing pretty well, because it actually knocks the enemies way back, which pushes us forward straight into their base, and they really want to hold on to that base. Again, we're winning, but we're not winning by enough of a margin that makes me happy. Though we do now have like 10 cats sitting right on their doorstep just demolishing their soul. Another victory, 2000 experience. So let's, I don't know, see what we can do to kind of step up our progress. Is there a word for animal genocide? Because I feel like I just purchased animal genocide. Well, for now we got about 300,000 experience, and that seems like lots, considering the level just awarded us 2,000 for beating it. So I guess we'll get the cat god, because that sounds important. Then I guess we'll just upgrade some of our cats for now. I spent about 80,000 experience just bringing a lot of things up to level 5. Let's start with that. My rate of income and everything seems to be going up rather quickly now. We can already afford those two and already another cat, so I think we're well ahead of the curve already. Plus, right from the beginning, I have 500 cents uh, cap to work with, so I can afford lots of units if I want them. And look how fast they come out. We're already pushing them way back. These guys are not going to have a very enjoyable round. I feel like I just started and we're already tearing down their base. And this cannon can almost hit their base. I actually might have. So we'll send in more axe cats just to finish the job quickly. Plus apparently if I touch uh, this thing, it's called the cat god, it comes down to help. Right, so apparently we'll take this uh, baby boom. Okay, thank you for that. Really needed your help here. Didn't feel like I was going to win this one. Are you giving me extra helpers? Because I didn't really need extra helpers, but I would take them. That would be a lot of fun. Well, whatever the case, we've already won. There's another 2600 experience. So if I need any more experience at any point, I can spend only 1500 cat foods and get 2 million experience. We're just going to get straight into the next level because I'm impatient. Basically, that's going to look like this uh, until it looks like this. And then they're going to die basically instantly. And then we're on to bigger, better things. That unlocked us a ninja cat, which we're going to take. Plus, we also have something called gross cat able to do very powerful long-range attack. So we're definitely going to take that and upgrade it to maybe, I don't know, level 10, which apparently changes the cat's class. It's now Sexy Legs Cat, and I didn't know that was a thing, so let's upgrade a few more of these to level 10. So Tank Cat turned into Wall Cat, uh, Axe Cat turned into Brave Cat, uh, Basic Cat, I don't know what's going to turn into, we might need more experience for that. Macho Cat. So I guess we'll put these into battle just to see exactly how they're going to hold up. We're going to let him go out first. The Long Legs Cat costs 400 cents all by itself, but look how much tougher they look now. This is going to be great. And that's horrifying but probably also very strong so i'm very happy it's here to join us and we've got some kind of hippo fighting back uh so that seems a little bit stronger but i think with all my units currently we're gonna walk right on through it all uh right seems to be doing lots of damage it doesn't strike very often but when it does there's some damage coming out so we're gonna add one more of those since i'm too lazy to strategize i'm just gonna go raw numbers oh it's dead anyway no we're gonna tear the base down probably very quick yeah the long leg cat does huge damage when it hits and Another easy victory. And for beating that, we get special rewards. And apparently platinum tickets are a thing. You get a 100% chance to get an uber rare cat. And that sounds like something we need to take advantage of because I like rare stuff. So I got uber super rare. I'm not really sure what that means, but I think it's probably going to be better than my current cats. Now let's try more of a regular roll to see if we can get something rare out of this as well. Well, we got a basic rare that's uh, basically a pirate. Now we have what's called a starter special. I feel like I'm a starter, so let's just do this. And then we're going to see what we get. Look at them all. Come on, something amazing. There's a super rare. 
Again, I'm not sure how these stack, but I'll take all the super rares I can find. And an uber super rare doesn't really look like a cat anymore. I did also find one that's literally a toaster. And I'm not even sure what this is now, but we're getting something. And these new uber super rare whatevers cost a lot of money, so I'm gonna have to upgrade myself. Which means that I'm probably gonna need a little more experience, so let's just go for 2 million. I assume that's the best deal. So my wallet is now max level. So is my accounting. So we're gonna find out what Australia thinks of my new units. It is gonna take a minute before I have enough space to be able to even afford the new cats, but not too long. I'm just gonna send a few basic ones out there just to kind of stall things. It's also gonna be very hard to afford those super cats, but we're gonna get there. 3,000 cents. Not to worry though, I am watching. If they break through my defenses, I'm gonna hit them with the cannon and see what happens. Two of my tanks have died, so I'm gonna bring a, uh, another one in, and I don't care. They can sit there right in the middle and battle forever. I need to see these new cats. All right, here we go with the new uber super rare whatever it is. That looks like it does not belong here at all. Yeah, I feel like that's going to be uh, really disproportionate to the damage everyone else is doing right now. So we'll put another tank in front so this one doesn't take too much damage. Though I suspect it's probably incredibly strong in all ways. Yeah, I feel like every time it actually hits something, those things die very quickly. Like, for example, this. And it bounced the snake back. There's still a pirate cat out there too. I don't know what he does. I'm also going to wait for another 3,000 cents to afford the other uber super rare whatever it is. But I think by the time we get there we might actually have the level beat. Because that one thing is doing so much damage. Uh, It actually just one-shotted the building once I got there. So that's kind of interesting and working very well. I wonder how many more of those we can get. It takes money to make money. We're spending more. And we got another uber super rare. You can always tell just by the way they look. And cat food seems to be the currency of choice. That's how I unlock new rare cats. And I want something even rarer, so we're gonna buy a little bit more. And that seems like it's enough to buy at least 22 new cats. Okay, and here's the rarity rate. A rare is 70%, super rare is 1 in 4, uber super rare is 1 in 20, but there's something even rarer. It's like almost 1 in 1,000, which is why I'm buying 11 of these at a time. Well, I got another uber super rare, so I'll take that at least. And another uber super rare. It's something riding a vacuum cleaner. Now to try and figure out uh, how to put these all in properly. I might have also done that wrong and not actually unlocked them because I didn't choose to select them. Not entirely sure what happened there, but that's okay. We can get more. All I know is that I should probably upgrade one of these. This was the more expensive one, so I'm going to assume it's better. Let's see if we can get that to level 10 with our current experience. That's probably going to make it pretty strong. And then let's do the same for our pirate cat. He deserves an upgrade too. He is now Captain Cat. Now we're going to do basically the same strategy as last time. We're going to put out a few tanks just to stall them while we save up enough for my super level 10, uh, whatever it was, Mega Legendary. I think three tanks should be enough for now because they're just sending out the basic dogs. Well, this is actually kind of disappointing. My three tanks are ash actually pushing their lines back so far. Starting to wonder if these tanks would be enough to actually defeat this. Anyways, that's not going to matter because we're going to send in this giant thing, which again, still looks very out of place, but that's because it's so much more powerful than everything else. So the last time we did this, we had a level one out there. This one is a level 10, so it should be a lot stronger. Not sure what it does. Okay, it smashes a hammer down and probably destroys absolutely everything on the ground. So we're going to leave it just with this. Every time it attacks, it takes out multiple units all at once. And that really helps me because we're going to push our line way back. While we're at it, we're going to throw the other uber super rare thing out and then also pirate cat just for fun. So now we're doing like double super damage and I'm pretty sure as soon as these guys touch that base, it's over for them. Pretty sure I got this one in the bag, but anything could happen. Look at him and his cannon. That's going to be fun. I don't think he's going to get a chance to fire it though. Come on, cannon attack. Do your thing. We're getting closer. Uh, if this hits their base, it might be over. Oh, there goes the cannon. There we go. Better late than never. Yeah, we're doing massive damage to their base. I just realized we need this at level 10 so we can have a better rate of income. Anyways, we need more cat food uh, for more rare unlocks. So now we get to buy another 33. Okay, I get it now. All of the cats go into cat storage. So they take up space in there and I need to clear it out before getting more. So we're going to put our new uh, top level ones into use. Uh, and we're going to exchange some of these for experience because they can actually be worth a lot and I don't know what a lot of these do but I need about uh 10 spaces. Anyways, let's go for another 11. I did get another uber super rare and I'm pretty sure I already have this one because that's the one I'm using now so I don't think we need two of them. 
we get 1 million experience for that, so why not? Then I kind of want to see what Cutter Cat is uh, capable of, so we're going to upgrade him to level 10 and throw him into battle with us. And then we're going to use Thundia, who's an uber super rare, all the way to level 10, because uh, she has an area of effect attack, and I really need some of that. All right, and that's pretty much going to be the same strategy as it was before. Put a few tanks out there just to stall for long enough for me to bring out the big guns, and this new one's going to be the most expensive one yet. Maybe while I'm at it, I'm going to bring out the new Power Saw Cat, which looks something like that, which is kind of ridiculous. Uh, that might be a bit overkill for right now, though. Uh, yeah, we're already to their base, so I probably overdid it a little bit on the power. Oh, wait, that's new. That might be strong enough. Never mind. Well, there's always a next level. At the very least, we're going to bring the new one in. I don't know if they're going to... No, they're not even going to make it there before that base is destroyed. We won too quickly. This is a problem. Okay, this time I'm not going to bring in the saw cat. I'm going to wait for the big one to come in. I'm only going to throw two of these out for now too so they don't push back too far. Even just these two are enough to hold them all the way back to the line. Wow, look at that. They actually broke through my wall. Uh, I'm going to hit them with another tank and then a super strong unit once they get to about there. I'm going to see if these two units can push them all the way back. Okay, here we go. There's a $3,000 unit and it definitely doesn't look like a cat anymore. And I think this one's going to be pretty good for us. It doesn't move super quick uh, or attack super often, but when she does things die. That would be a good chance to try out the cannon too. Hmm, that works pretty well. We're gonna hit this one little creature with a massive explosion. While we're at it, we're gonna bring in the other super strong unit and they can work together and I'll put a little wall up so they're a little bit more protected. I suspect they probably have more health and tankiness than the actual tanks, but until I'm sure of that, we're gonna keep rolling like this. I think I have three units currently in play and it's just it's way too strong. Like I'm just walking through everything they have. And before I could even acknowledge the base, we destroyed it. So there's 5,800 experience. So that's pretty great. And apparently I'm allowed to open one rare cat capsule. I'm not holding out hopes. Well, it's a super rare. It's a cat in the bath. They love that, so we're going to turn that into experience and move on. Our original super uber rare is still only level 1, and that won't do at all. So let's bring this one up to level 10. And then it's going to turn into a uh, assault unit REI, who is then going to assist us on this level eventually. The beginning always takes so long, but then once my units get rolling, we absolutely get rolling. And let's bring in this guy now, who looks much improved. And I think he's probably going to hit very, very hard. I think he only can hit one unit at a time, but he's actually got a pretty good attack rate. Or it's maybe just not necessarily an area of effect, because he didn't hit that dog there at all. But somewhere like here, there's a few enemies he should hit all at once. Yeah, so he can hit like an individual spot. Yeah, he's pretty strong, because I'm pretty sure this is going to hit the base. Nope, it didn't hit the base. The next one might, though, because he's getting very close. And once it starts to hit the base, we're going to do a lot of damage. So it had 3,900 health and he one-shotted it. And our other super strong thing didn't even get a chance into battle. I did get another rare ticket, so let's hope for a super secret rare. Instead, we got a wind-up bomb. So we're going to need just a few more tries. I want something extraordinarily rare. So what I just bought will get us pretty evenly 33 tries. 11 down, nothing yet. We should, over the 33, get at least one mega super rare. 22 tries down and nothing interesting, though we are up to 17 million experience, so that's got to be good for some. Something. 33 tries not one single rare one so i guess i just got uh exceptionally lucky earlier by finding as many as i did because i've spent i think over 500 dollars now and i regret nothing let's destroy someone else a nice sandy beach perfectly nice place for a bloodbath though the enemies are getting stronger like there's a lot of units coming my way but if they do happen to bust through my uh, erasers, I'm going to hit them with the cannon. So far, they're still hanging out at the eraser. So let's bring in this, which is the area of effect. And that's going to help push the enemies a long ways back. Well, now it's just uh, her versus them. I'm going to put a tank out because I just really don't want her to die because she's really expensive. Not that I think there's going to be a problem with that. But just in case, you never know what's going to happen because I really don't know their stats. I just know that they do a lot of damage like that. They just took out like eight enemies all at once. And then she's going to have some backup from him, who's also going to do a lot of damage. So now we should march very happily all the way through to the end. With nice big hits, just like that. I really do want to get a third uh, uber rare involved. Oh, we lost the racer cat. We'll bring a racer cat in. But also another uber super rare. So there's 9,000 cents in units rolling forward. So I feel like from this point forward, it's going to be easy. We'll even bring a pirate cat in and then the uh, power cat. And then one of these and then one of these too. We're just going to march right on through everything. This is by far the most damage I've ever had pushing forward. And my units aren't even to the front line yet. But now they are. I like how fast that one charges forward to stop the enemy. That's good for advancing. And now we're basically at their base. There's one. There's no one left to try and defend. Uh, except for those things. I don't know what those are. 
but we also just destroyed them and the base all at once. So we're feeling pretty powerful. Basically the same strategy, but this time I'm going to try and push a little bit harder. I'm going to try and get some units out there sooner to just plow right through their defenses. And there's already a hippo in the desert. I have a feeling that he's going to be a little bit of a problem for my tank cats. He might actually be able to chew through them. But will he be a match for Pirate Cat and his mighty cannon? Okay, both my tanks are in fact down. Uh, so we're going to send out also this guy too. And then we're going to see what kind of damage this is going to do. I have no idea who's going to win. Okay, well, clearly these are very strong units by themselves. Didn't really expect them to be able to do this. Uh, so it turns out these two are uh, enough to just walk right on through their defenses and hit for 700 damage at a time. And they're so quick. Oh, we got another hippo though, so he will delay them for just a moment, but probably not too long considering the amount of damage we have going out. Yep, he's dead. Oh, we can already bring in one of our uh, ultra units then. We'll bring in him because I like him the best. Never mind, we're done. I feel like they're going to be able to bust through my tanks, but that's okay because by the time they do, they're going to have to face one of my super units. That's it. Keep coming toward me. Walk towards your doom. Okay, we're going to hit them with the area of effect. Uh, cat, I guess we'll call it. But it doesn't really feel like a cat anymore. But we're going to see if she's enough to solo her way all the way through this for now. And I don't really know. I know she hits very hard. <laughs> Well, it's enough to one-shot both of them combined, so I'm feeling pretty good about her odds. Though her attack rate is so slow in her forward movement that, like, it's going to be really hard for her to actually push back because the enemies will just keep spamming forward like that. So let's give her a little bit of backup. Between her and him, I think we'll go through this because he attacks fairly often, but he hits one spot at a time. Either way, whatever they hit, it's going to be a one-shot kill. I'm pretty sure of that. Like, this is going to hit the snake, then she's going to hit the warthog thing, and he's going to die. Oh, no, he actually pushed her back a little bit. I didn't realize that could happen. So you definitely do need a few units just kind of stalling them for forward movement. Because these two by themselves don't push forward very quickly. Because he just made a bunch of progress, but he still only got it halfway. And now they're both... She's going to waste her attack not making any forward movement, and they're already stalled again. It's just a snow, inevitable, torturous grind of me plowing through their ranks straight into their base. And there's not a damn thing they can do about it. Oh, I looked away for one second, and they finished the battle. So they're clearly overpowered. We did take damage to our base somewhere there, but that's okay. We won pretty handily. All right, Madagascar, we've conquered half the world. I guess you're left. And I'm not feeling particularly intimidated yet, but those little guys are good for pushing forward. Look how fast they are. Uh, that's okay. We can hit him with some of my fast units too. This guy's nice and fast. He's going to clip them. That claw's actually big enough. He could probably actually mulch them into jelly really quick. This might even be overpowered, like I might just roll through their entire base now. Yeah, all I really need to do in any one of these battles is just unleash this thing. And it just goes and chomps through everything at super speed, because even that's way overpowered. That's a new enemy though, it's a gorilla. Oh, and it can even absorb a hit from this. That's kind of interesting. Oh, okay, it's fighting back. We got a fight on our hands. Oh, interesting. I don't know what that means. But we destroyed the gorilla. They destroyed my thing. Maybe it's not as overpowered as I thought. That's okay. We can just pull out the big guns. I think they're actually close enough to be hurting my base at this point. So that's a little alarming. Nope, doesn't look like it. The base is still fine. They were just hurting my hero thing. They're very strong, but they make progress so slowly. But that's why you get two of them. They even are able to push my heroes back once in a while. And that's kind of annoying because we need every little bit of progress we can get because we're so damn slow. Actually, the uh, black and blue one moves a lot quicker. So once he does get a chance, he pushes forward. And now we can have all three of them pushing forward. And I feel like that's going to help because they can kind of spread their attacks out and they won't all attack at once and then make no progress. It's actually been so long that I brought in a second one of these. So now we have two of them in play. Oh, and we managed to hit their base. So I guess it turns out that when you spend $500 on Battle Cats, it makes the game a little bit easy. Today we're going to get ripped and you're going to watch. And we're going to do that one kilogram at a time. Every rep makes my muscles just a little bit stronger. My clicker muscles are also going to get quite a workout. Our reps per second is currently zero because it takes a long time for this little bean string to lift this one kilogram weight. Okay, once we did five reps though, we got some different stuff going on like a five kilogram weight. Oh no, I had to pay five kilograms. We have a 1.15 kilogram weight now, so it's going to be a little while. But that honestly seems like pretty good gains so far. We are stronger. And the experience bar at the top is also moving along. I don't know what happens when it closes down, but maybe my arm gets bigger. And a few more clicks, and I got a bunch of stuff down there at the bottom as well. We can eat meat. So I think now that we've done 11 reps, we can actually use some of those, yes, to do faster. Now he's auto-doing it. We don't have to click anymore. I love when exercise works by itself. This is so much faster. I should just have him doing it all the whole time. We're also going to make the weights a little bit heavier now. They're up to 1.3 kilos. Look at that big old muscle. I'll help him along with some good old clicking for a little bit too. We're already at the point where we can force feed him some meat. I'm not really sure what this is going to do. It took some of the volume there. Did that make him bigger? I just wanted to play a game where I could force feed someone meat. We're already lifting 50% more than where we started, and we're going to do that much quicker. 
I don't know if the sound effects are necessary, that grunt at the top of his lift, but I'm okay with it at the same time. I legitimately can't tell if his muscles have gotten bigger yet or not. I would think they have to have, but I'm not entirely sure. I just love knowing that at the end of this, this is going to be like 8 tons and he's going to be doing it a million times a second. Uh, we're going to feed him some more meat. Uh, we have some smelling salts, I think. Oh, those really got him going. I'm not sure if that's how that works in real life, but it's got him going for now, so we are going to complain. We have straps for 30 kilos. And more finger strength for uh, better clicking. We might as well buy some of that because I do click a lot. And we're going to give him faster reps. The bonus wore out, but he's up to 0.1 reps per second. So 10 seconds, he does one rep all by himself. We'll also buy the straps. Every click will give you volume points. Oh, interesting. So that's really going to boost that volume up a lot so we can make his weights a little bit bigger. Again, he's now lifting 2.3 kilos, way more than where he started. And we'll feed him some more meat. Okay, faster reps, more weight. I guess given that the growth is at zero, we probably don't have a bigger arm yet. We might have to wait for that to get all the way down. Then we have a bigger arm. We're up to the birdie, three kilo weights. But that is three times where we started, so that's a big improvement. We're also going to buy more straps for more volume points for every click that I do. I keep buying meat, but I'm still not entirely sure what it does. I know it's helping somewhere, I just haven't figured out the math yet. Like, I could spend 16 kilos to buy meat, and it changes something in the growth. So we're getting close to bigger muscles from it. Uh, also, since we're getting super strong now, we're up to 3.5 kilos. <laughs> but better yet, let's make that 4 kilos. 4 times where we started, and we've only been doing this for 20 minutes. <laughs> we've made 100 kilos for the first time, so we're going to upgrade our weights again. That's level 11 now. And I just spent uh, more money and more finger strength, so my clicking helps the reps go faster. Then already it's time to buy more straps, so more clicking uh, gives me 0.3 kilograms per click now. Okay, we've slowly saved up enough for uh, faster reps again. And by the time we're done that, we have 200 kilos of mass to spend, so we're going to get bigger dumbbells again. That actually added a lot. Now we got purple ones because they're over 5 kgs. You know what? Let's upgrade them again. 6.15 kilos, so every time we get to the top of that rep, we add 6 kilos of mass. Ooh, smelling salts. Perfect. This will get him going. It's like the weight turns into air at this point. He's able to just power right on through it. Oh, we also unlocked Talcum and Technique. What does this do? Better movement will multiply your earnings and rep points. Uh, okay. Also, Talcum, better grip will multiply your earnings in volume points. Okay, so that actually, yeah, increasing quite a bit. Those are very expensive upgrades, but they will pay themselves back over time. We'll get straps for extra clicking volume. So we're getting over one rep uh, per rep now. It's like 1.25 or something. We're gonna get faster reps at this point. And no doubt more weight. So we're up to 7.08. We're also gonna force feed him some more meat using uh, kilos instead of the reps because these are much cheaper than the other ones. And look at it go. And I painstakingly saved up 500 kilograms of volume. That way I can get more telcom because that's just gonna multiply everything. So we're gonna go from 1.14 per second to 1.43 per second. That's like a 30% increase, so that's pretty great. And we're gonna do the same with technique. We're getting 1.25 reps per rep currently. So we're gonna go from one here to, come on, you can do it, 2.56. So we're getting like 1.5 closer to per rep now. That individually isn't huge, but the amount of reps you're going to do, that's going to equal trillions of extra by the end of this. We'll also add more weight, so we're up to 8 kilos per rep. Now every time I do a rep, you can actually see that uh, yellow line moving quite a bit because we're moving so much weight. So in fact, we're going to give him more uh, meat to help that go along. Ooh, smelling salts, perfect. So we're going to combine this with a little auto-clicker action. Then I'm going to sit back and relax. Okay, the salts wore off, but I got 103 reps in the bank, which means I'm going to increase the technique again. So now we're getting almost 2 reps per rep. So that's actually really, really big. And since we saved up a thousand kilos of volume, we're going to do talcum powder again. Or talcum cube, whatever that is. I'm not entirely sure. And that's going to help our multiplier again. Add to that a little more forest meat. And suddenly that yellow bar is getting awfully close. Actually, clicking here took me up to 0.5. So that was a 25% increase in clicking power. So I should probably do the same with finger strength. And then more forest meat. The best kind of meat. We're so close now. We've almost hit one growth, or whatever's after zero, presumably one. Growth one. Oh, we got bigger. I see the bicep now. I'm not sure much of anything else changed, but the bicep got bigger. Maybe the forearms also. So the more the growth goes, the bigger he gets. All right, so we're going to increase the weight to over 10 kilos now. We just need everything else to catch up. We're going to increase that. There's another 0.01 per second. But the growth is moving along quite nicely. We could buy protein shakes for 100 kilos. So that moves that up by 75 every time we do that. That moves it up by half of that. So this is worth double the meat right now. I'm not entirely sure why we want growth, but the growth is what we're going for. I guess we want bigger arms. Functional strength is overrated anyways. 
So I'm gonna let the auto clicker go to work and I'm gonna go get some more coffee. A few short minutes later, look at our progress. We have 380 reps, so we're gonna buy technique times two. So now we get three reps per rep. That entirely added another one. We went from two to three, so we have a 50% increase. Now we'll probably do the same with uh, talcum powder because that's gonna take us from three to three and a half up to four kilograms per second. And since we're already on the high protein diet, let's just touch this a few times and look how close that yellow line gets. I also bought more finger strength, so now we're doing those reps quicker than ever. The smelling salts are back. Great, now I'm just gonna use auto clicker. Well, wait, we're gonna bust right through the yellow bar. Okay, here it comes. Watch how big the muscle gets. There we go, even bigger, even stronger. We can increase technique again, so why wouldn't we? Now we're at 0.5 reps per second, so it only takes two seconds to do a rep now. Uh, we'll increase the weight a few times for sure. We're up to 14 kilos per rep. So I'm curious to see if we increase the time here now. Yeah, it actually makes a bigger difference. 0.03 seconds. And we'll increase the weight now. 16.3 kilos. I can also buy pre-workout at the bottom. It gives me, I think, about 300. 337, but that's equal to like uh, 6 or 7 reps anyway, so there's no point in buying it. What I will get is more finger strength, so this goes even quicker. And also the straps, so the clicking adds more weight per click. And since we love the power of the auto clicker, let's increase its power for weight and time. We just hit some more smelling salt, so off we go again. So that means we're going to get a little more growth and the muscles are even bigger. At this point, I'm definitely going to save up for the talcum and technique again because those multipliers are hugely valuable. We also have the option at the bottom to buy creatine, but it's $5,000. It's probably not worth it. What is, is better technique. So instead of getting 3.81 per rep, we're now going to get 4.7. That added a full extra one rep for every rep we do. Okay, I finally saved up 8,000 I need for more talcum, so that's gonna take us from 52 kilos per rep all the way up to, you can do it, 58. Not as dramatic as I would have hoped, but that's still like a 15% increase. So that might be the ratio it's going by every time, which is actually really big, especially over time. We've already saved up enough for more technique. So from 4.77 all the way up to 5.96. So that's a big increase. We're almost at a full one rep per second now without even clicking. So that also means that every time I touch faster reps now should be a bigger boost there. We're very close to one rep per second. I'll also boost my clicking power. So that should take us up to uh, one kilo per click. Okay, I'm really starting to see with the rate I can click, even with the auto clicker, we're still better off to let it do it by itself. He's gaining uh, 60 kilos per natural rep. My clicking only does about 10 in that time, so he's six times better. Mm, we're about to hit growth number four, so our muscles are going to get even bigger again, which is all we're here to do. And there we go. Mega muscles. Look how quick he goes now. I don't have to do anything anymore, but we'll give him a little more weight. So he's going to go from 18.2 to 21 to 25 per rep. We'll still help him along a little bit, but he's far better off doing it on his own. We'll get back a little bit and pick up where we left off. I come back a little bit later and the muscles are bigger again and about to get even bigger. So we're about to grow six. Look at the size of those. They're even showing veins. I've also saved up 69,000 kilos in mass. So if we convert that into talcum, that's going to bring us way up. And then we'll increase the weight so we're up to 38 per rep. But now to do the same for technique, so that's going to take us uh, way, way up again to 2.5 reps per second. And about 15 reps every time we do do a rep. So that's going to be absurdly strong. Now for faster reps, we're going to bring that up. So we're at actually 3 reps per second now. So we might as well increase the finger strength. So now we're lifting 38 kilo uh, weights that quickly. So every time we do increase the speed, that's uh, it still make a difference, but that works with technique. That's where the magic really happens. We've saved up another 30,000 kilos of volume, so let's increase this hopefully twice. So up to 50 kilos per rep, which are just giant concrete blocks. But every rep gets us 190 kilos of volume. And then we got lucky and got some smelling salt, so look at us go. We're going to get a real good pump today. And that's about to bring us into growth number 7, so the arms are about to get even bigger again. Yep. And this is only growth seven. I can't even imagine what's going to happen later. We've also saved up enough for more technique. So that's uh, four reps per second now. And we're getting a little over 18 reps per rep. And I did faster reps and that actually added 0.2 on per second. So that's one fifth of a rep for every second. Given how many seconds we have to go for this, we might as well do that one more time because that's really going to be worth the investment. Also more weight. Even increasing the weight is getting so expensive, that costs 30,000. But it takes us from 57 to 66 kilos with all the multipliers. That's at 300 at the top every rep. So then let's take more reps per second from 5.55 to 6.9. So basically 1.5 extra reps per second. 
And we're almost getting 30 now every time we uh, do a rep, so that's going to add up and pay for itself very quickly. And we're getting to the point where finger strength now is actually so cheap, we might as well bother to buy a few of these. Not sure how noticeable that's going to be. Uh, you might actually be able to see that, and over time that'll add up anyway. So let's buy just one more of those, and then we can sit back and relax for a while. Maybe we should also try buying some creatine. That's only 5,000. What does that do? That moves the yellow bar quite a while, but... That's just kind of a, that's a quick fix. We want better strength. We want long-term profits, not short-term. Also, faster reps, we're at, uh, let's call it 7 per second, 7.3 per second. So that adds about 0.4 per second. And we're about to move into growth nine. Remember we started with little pencil arms and now we got these ridiculous <laughs> muscles that look like they're ready to burst out of the skin. Now we got some smelling salts, so we're definitely going to take advantage of those. They're going to get faster reps right away also. So the current reps per second is 38.4, obviously with smelling salts. And we have 130,000 uh, kilograms, so that means we can do talcum again. And that added another 8,000 kilograms a second. Or 8 kilograms a second is probably more accurate. Whatever the case, it's a little hard to understand all the math going on here, because I don't think it represents itself accurately. But the numbers are getting bigger, the muscles are getting bigger. And if we increase the weight again, 87.57 kilos. We're not quite at 100, but we're getting close. And here's growth 10, so the arms are getting get somehow even bigger. Will the veins get bulgier at least? Will this dumbbell increase be enough to put it over? Just over 100. 100.7 kilograms every rep. We're getting 450 kilos every time we lift this. Okay, smelling salts combined with manual clicking is probably the best way to do this. Look how quick it goes. And that also really quickly gave us enough for more dumbbell weight. So this next at 15 kilos per rep, 521 every curl. Growth 11 is coming right up now. I can't believe how quickly that one went. Not sure I saw a lot of change to the arms this time around. But I might not notice. Again, it's all starting to blur together for me because I'm sitting here watching an arm lift a thing. But we're going to get faster technique again, so that's up to 15.2 reps per second. So that, that also means when I buy faster reps now, we get 0.8 bonus. And we saved up enough to buy another telcom powder for 256,000. That puts us up to 206 per second. And combine it all with a little bit of smelling salt at this point, and this is what his arm is doing. 115 kilos being lifted at light speed. So let's go ahead and add on a little more weight from 115 to 133 kilos. And we're going to increase our technique again. We're going to go from 16.3 to 20.4 reps per second. 55 every time we curl. It's getting to the point now where he's almost not curling anymore. He's just blinking back and forth with his colossal weight. And we're about to hit growth number 12. Let's see if the muscle actually changes. I'm not even going to click so I can pay attention and watch it like a hawk. Are the muscles going to get bigger? I don't think they changed at all. That's very sad. Maybe a little steroids would help that. $75,000, how far along is that going to take? That's very expensive. Well, that's not even close to worth it. But we can ascend for 12 points now because we hit growth 12. Which is just this happening. We're just slowly pumping the iron, but we're going slower and we explode. And we're back to where we started again. The problem is you can buy these things for one point. It doesn't tell you what percentage they are, so you don't really know if this is actually going to do much. Like impact technique is certainly one I would buy that's 20%. Rep is 20%, so I definitely like both of those. Basically, those are the only two there that I really like. Maybe that one, but I'd buy some more of these. An impact technique makes such a big deal that I probably would buy that one again. And then there's weight multiplier. AFK doesn't matter. Clicks I don't care about. Supplements are stupid. Growth is fine. To put that all into perspective, to start, we're getting 1.4 reps instead of 1. But now that we've also unlocked technique for 50, we can see what kind of difference that's going to make. We get 1.4 uh, every rep at 0.13 per second, so we're clicking on that, 0.18, so that's a pretty big increase in itself. But how much do we get here? 1.96. So yeah, that would make a big difference, but we'd have to go for a long time to really justify it. So we'll let this idiot pump his iron for a long time. We'll come back in like 10 years and see what happened. I'm going to spend the next 20 minutes putting things in my mouth and you're going to watch. And you're not allowed to break eye contact the entire time. Naturally, as I eat these delicious eggs, my mouth gets full, which means I need to start turning them into digestion. I need to keep repeating this very delicate, complicated process until I can eat bigger, better foods, eventually consuming the universe itself. And I can use the money earned along the way to increase things like my bite power, my chew power, and even my chew speed and digestion. I don't really know what making my mouth size uh, bigger does, but I'm all for it. And that's a little better, we're chewing through these eggs quicker, we can hold a lot more in our mouth. So we can click here to put them in our mouth, we can click here to also click clear our mouth and then we click over here to digest it making room for more so right now for every egg we eat we get fifty dollars and we're going to spend that on mouth size we need the biggest mouth possible that way we can cram lots and lots and lots of eggs in there and before you know it we're level two at two hundred dollars so we're going to get more bite power that means we're going to take bigger bites out of our egg and put them down quicker 
Look at us go now. Two bites and that thing's gone. So then we're gonna upgrade our chew power with our next $200. That means that as I'm eating these delicious eggs, the chew meter will automatically move down quicker, especially if I click on it. So that means more eggs in our mouth, which means more money. And if I let digestion get too far, he lights himself on fire. So to fix that, we're gonna increase our digest speed a lot. That way he can go through these eggs a lot quicker. And we're already at such a happy balance now that we can stuff all these eggs in there. It doesn't even cause him any indigestion. They just flow right through them. And before you know it, we've consumed enough eggs to get $500. More bite power, more chew power, and definitely more chew speed. Look at us go now. The eggs done, no chance at all. And then we're gonna expand this idiot stomach like a balloon, and that's gonna get a lot bigger. That should mean we can force more crap in there before he gets uncomfortable. I think by the time I hit chew power 11, I should be able to pretty much eat this and not have my mouth get very full because we're chewing pretty much as fast as I can consume. At least until we upgrade bite power with our $700. Now it should only take a few bites to get through an egg. One, two, three, four with no crit. Which brought us up to level 4 in a hurry. Since we've got 100 gems, I think we're gonna open a random costume. In fact, we're gonna open 11 of them. We did get a few B-class items. Which is gonna take our mouth size and stomach size 24 levels higher, which is huge. And it just looks better. But I still need to spend $1,000 on bite power, which is only two upgrades. Then we need to spend $900 on bite power one more time, so hopefully this idiot can get an egg down in three whole bites. One, two, three. I've never been so proud of someone that eats eggs for a living. So we're gonna do the 10 egg challenge. I've gotta eat 10 eggs in 30 seconds. I tried to use my magic power, it didn't work. But if we can eat them in three bites, this should be easy. Of course, we're racing against the clock and my mouth is already getting full, but we are forcing the eggs in there in a hurry. But if we drink the water, that should clear up my stomach real quick, and then we go right back to forcing them down. It's still going to be reasonably close, because this is the ninth egg, so one more, but we got seven seconds to do it, and donezo. That unlocked for us a choco cookie. That'll give us $325 per eat. It's probably going to be considerably harder to get through. A lot more bites and it's going to fill our mouth up more and also our stomach. But that never stopped me before. With a look of determination, we're going to power right through this. And for a little boost, we're going to get some new haircuts. We did get an A-tier haircut, so that's got to be a nice boost. Bite and chew times 60. Now we look like a professional eater. Wow, we're putting those down in one bite. Yeah, we're actually literally eating those in one bite to the point where we're like overstuffing ourselves. So I'm definitely gonna need some upgrades to chew power, like a lot. It turns out these cookies I'm eating are so dense that they fill up my mouth and then my stomach in a huge hurry. So I'm gonna need a much bigger stomach and digestive system. I'm gonna need a cow size instrument. But since I have $7,200, I could definitely increase my stomach quite a lot. And same with digest speed, that's gotta go up a lot, chew speed also. And then pretty much whatever upgrade we can afford, which is chew speed times another few but that should help us get the cookies down quicker the problem hilariously enough is because he eats them in one bite which makes his mouth very full so i guess you could say we're gonna need a bigger mouth mouth size upgrades are already a thousand dollars each so it's gonna be a little while before i can fit too many of these cookies in and then because our mouth gets full so quick we definitely need more chew speed i also just opened a furniture and got a table so that's actually gonna be huge because that's experience in gold times 12. so instead of getting 50 dollars per egg i now get 600 dollars per egg i realized i could eat the eggs very quickly so this is easy money. So I can buy upgrades $10,000 at a time. And that probably means I can eat 20 eggs in 30 seconds. So close, gotta get one more in there. Done. That gave me 2,400 experience and I think 12,000 gold. Which I'm just gonna spend on chew speed. Which is gonna get our chew speed way up. I don't know how much money I actually got for doing that. But apparently it was a lot. And this is all I wanted. The ability to be able to chew my food as fast as I can eat it. And I'm gonna open a gem box for a better chair. Because obviously these bonuses are huge. It's a D level chair. Which still gives me chew speed, digest speed times 2. So I wish I did that sooner. Next I'm gonna upgrade digest speed. We should be able to afford a few good upgrades for that. And then let's try another $30,000 on digest speed. That's gonna take it up to level level 30 and i think we hit the level we needed so now we can eat eggs we're chewing them and digesting them faster than we can eat them so we can do this endlessly at light speed and just like that i can leave my happy little weirdo right here eating for the next 12 hours a brisk 12 hours later and i am level 20 with this much money so we're gonna go back to eating our cookies but our mouth immediately gets full luckily we can afford to spend a little bit of money to get some upgrades so i'm gonna bring that up to level 25 and i'm gonna do the same for all of my little upgrades now i can eat a cookie my mouth doesn't get entirely full but two still does it so now we're headed for level 35 across the board and that's definitely a little bit better our mouth still gets full but not nearly as quickly the most 
most important upgrade so far are Chew Power, so we're just going to keep going with that for a second while we spend our fortune. Chew Speed is also uh, very important, but it's also very expensive. So I've increased my upgrades to about level 70, and that's more like it. Now we can rapid fire those cookies again. And given the power of our upgrades, I bet we can eat 30 eggs in a hurry. Without even breaking a sweat, we're done with 21 seconds to spare. And because of all the achievements we got while eating, we have 400 gems to spend. So I'm going to start with some free furniture that's going to give us all those boosts. And then I'm going to get more hair, more clothes, and random chairs that might actually add a lot. Well, because of our extra A hairs, our bite and chew is times 120, and our sweater gives us mouth and stomach size times 90, and our chair gives us chew and digest speed times 18. The rest of the furniture is actually going to add chew power times 10%, mouth size 10%, stomach size, and lots of these are just 10% upgrades. And after those upgrades, I can absolutely rapid fire the cookies. So it's time for the challenge. Can we eat 10 of these in 30 seconds? I think we're going to do it in like four. Which brings us to Choco Pie. That's going to be $2,100 for each one we eat. Times whatever it's a massive multiplier is. So we can put them down one at a time and we can actually almost digest them in real time already. We actually can. We're chewing them down as quickly as we can cram them in our mouth. So that's a lot of fun. We're going to stack up a lot of experience and money. This is eerily reminiscent of real life. But I think we're actually already ready to do the 10 Choco Pie challenges. This should be no problem at all considering we put them down in one bite and move on to the next. Never even having to blink, not in the slightest. The next food is a donut and that's going to be a huge amount of money but it's going to be a little bit harder to eat so our last choco pie goes down what does the donut do for us absolutely fills our mouth so the first thing we're going to need is a much bigger mouth size i'm going to keep an eye on my money up top to make sure we don't start spending too too much but i'm going to try and get it to level 110 okay that abruptly got really expensive at the end and our mouth is still very full so i'm going to get a few levels for chew speed and chew power to help get through that and i wasn't paying attention so i've already run out of money but that's okay because we're a lot stronger than we were so for a few minutes i'm going back to devouring choco pies while we build up some more money and experience again. I've also realized my table and chair are both only level B, so I'm going to open some of these guys hoping for something good. There's an A level chair, that's actually huge, so I'm going to go right to a table for the rest of the money hoping to get an A level there. I didn't get an A, but I did get a double A, that's going to be incredibly strong. So golden experience times 12 is going up to 360, that's a 30 times increase. And chair went from 18 times chew and digest speed to 60 times. So donuts are still a little bit stronger than we are, but that shouldn't be for much longer, especially considering the newfound earnings we get from eating these things. I also didn't realize along with achievements there's challenge achievements where you can get a lot of extra gems. So I completed a few more A challenges, got 240 gems, so I'm gonna open up some hair. 100 gems worth, I got a double A hair. So I'll do the same for a costume, hoping for a double A and we got a regular A. But the amazing double A hair gave me three times the bite and chew power. Plus now I look like a professional eater. But the donuts still don't really fit. So we're gonna get a lot of mouth size as much as we can afford and then chew speed. Even after all those upgrades, we still can only fit a single donut at a time. So for the next hour or so, I'm eating these things and getting massive amounts of money to do so. A few minutes later, level 23, that much gold. So we're once again going to try and upgrade our mouth size just a little bit, although that gets very expensive. And then the rest of the points are going to go between chew power and chew speed until we run out of money. And then we're going to see if we can handle the mighty donuts yet. We still can't. It's still not even close. The donuts are so immensely strong. The fastest way to get upgrades at this point is to do the food challenges for earlier foods. Because do Doing a 70 egg challenge gets me 70 gems. There's just no better feeling than jamming 100 eggs in your mouth. I've just painstakingly finished every food challenge I could, which has given us 1500 gems, which we can spend on things like costumes, which is going to give us a much needed mouth size. So for 500 gems, we can open 55 of those and look at them all. We have an S tier one, that's perfect. And we're going to combine all the basic ones into better ones, work your way down towards that S tier. Whatever the case, we just went from mouth size approximately 50 before the upgrades, all the way up to 20. 2520. So let's see those stupid donuts defeat me now. So we put that in and our mouth is still full. How big are these donuts? I mean, we just increased our mouth size by like a billion times and we can still only eat one stupid donut at a time. So let's spend all the money we have right now on more mouth size, which is only a few upgrades really, but our mouth still gets full right away. So let's go ahead and buy some cherries and this is going to increase our chew speed, which is obviously important. And we're going to buy 55 of them. That's going to get us to A tiers, which isn't great, but it did stack with the other A tiers. So it did probably go from 40 times to 120 times. I think we actually had the wrong one of those equipped also. Yeah, I'd say we did because suddenly I can eat donuts almost uh, instantly. So wish I knew about that earlier. That could have saved us a lot of time. Yeah, I can basically eat donuts at full speed now. So I'm going to milk this for all I can. And I'm also annoyed that I only have an A tier chair. So I'm going to buy another whatever it is, 500 of those. Random chair, give me an S tier. There's two double A's and an S tier. So we're going to go from whatever up to 2520 times. 
chew speed and digest speed. I think I also had the wrong thing equipped here. I don't know what happened, but this wasn't also equipped. Oh, well, whatever the case, we have a new table to look at and we should be making much bigger rewards than before. Yeah, that's actually a monster increase. So let's just sit back and relax and stuff our face with donuts for a little bit. Our experience bar is moving up mega quick. I think I've punished him with enough donuts so we can take on the donut challenge. We need to eat 10 of them in 30 seconds. Pretty sure that's not going to be a problem. And we did it with lots of time to spare. <laughs> which brings us to the very healthy apple, which we may or may not be able to take down. We can actually eat these in a really big hurry also. So we're going to enjoy some nice delicious apples for a little while while we uh, make a whole bunch of money. But I noticed our very hungry moron is eating the apples in two bites and not one. We left his bite power behind a long time ago because he was overfilling his mouth because he's not that bright. We're going to spend all of our money on bite power now to raise it up to 193. I suspect that will be enough to take on the apples in one whole bite. Okay, enough of the healthy stuff. Let's find out what's come after apples. We just got to eat 10 of them, which we're going to do in a hurry. That's done we get a pretty handsome reward for it and next comes chocolate bar this might overfill us in a hurry it sure did i can actually eat this reasonably quick as long as i'm not like rapid clicking this is actually perfectly fine so i'm thinking if i get my chew power and chew speed up a little bit we can actually rapid fire eat these chocolate bars and you know, we really started making a lot of money these past few items because we can just buy and buy and buy upgrades and our money hardly moves we can sort of rapid fire eat, but then he starts doing that weird thing, so he's now eating <laughs> an invisible nothing. Well, for the most part, I can just leave him alone to eat the chocolate. He's gonna do this once in a while, but eventually he gets that figured out and picks up the chocolate bar and eats it. So I'm gonna leave him here for a little bit. And now that we saved up a bunch more resources, let's increase our mouth size a lot. But also our true speed and power a lot. We're gonna spend 400 billion dollars doing this. That way we're extra sure to be able to complete these little challenges. Because we need to find out what comes after the chocolate bar. All we gotta do is eat 10 of these in 30 seconds. I think we're up to the task so long as he doesn't do his weird thing like that. That was fairly easy, glitchy thing aside. Next we get to eat a mini burger. I would imagine this is gonna be quite a mouthful, but we'll find out. It definitely takes a few bites to get through it and we're full. But to be fair, our stomach isn't very big. We've been putting all our points into chewing power. So so we're able to chew it through to our stomach in a hurry. Luckily, it's only going to take a few of these burgers to get us right back to where we were money-wise. So for the first hundred billion dollars, we're going to spend some grand stomach size, and that's going to go way up to level 207. I did the same spending a hundred billion dollars on digest speed, but that means I can eat these pretty quickly. It still takes like six, seven, eight bites to eat one of these, but that's okay because I don't want to fill myself up too quick. That causes problems. But maybe we're due for a new haircut. This is only AA. I want an S. We can really only open like 15 of these, so hopefully we get very, very lucky, and that's definitely not lucky. We did get an A tier with our final purchase, and we got five of those, so we can actually combine that, so that's going to go from times 540 to times 720. That's a reasonable upgrade. So our bite power is going to be uh, stronger again. So let's buy some very expensive upgrades, upgrading true speed and power again which doesn't buy very many these days can you imagine spending 100 billion dollars upgrading your mouth size because that's exactly what we're about to do that brought it up to almost level 210 that means i can eat these a lot quicker because our mouth can hold that much more food i just forced about a thousand donuts inside of me that way i can click on this a bunch more times and look at all those gems we have again and i think we're overdue for some new hair 55 tries there's got to be a good one in there somewhere and there's not but we're not going to give up yet we're going to buy a few of these and get thoroughly disappointed although we probably have enough to actually upgrade past double a we just got to keep stacking up our way along we bought so many haircuts along the way that we can actually combine quite a few we have five double a's we can combine those into an s tier so now our biting and chewing power is way higher so let's see how these burgers go down now and one bite in our mouth is very full because that's a lot of food we just crammed in there but two bites in a burger goes down we just can't do it super Super quickly we gotta wait for that to go down i think we could probably get 10 of these burgers in us within 30 seconds as long as we're doing it fairly methodically you just can't rush it as soon as one's down you gotta get the next one started to wait for the thing to go down eat another bite do it again yeah we're gonna be okay it's closer than you might have thought because i made a little mistake but we're done that means we can move on to triangle gimbap I have no idea what that is. It's a delicacy in the alien world. Actually looks kind of like a cake. I'm sure it's good. It takes a lot of bites to get through this. Whatever it is, it's very dense. But it does get us an absolutely massive reward because we have multipliers on top of this. But at least now I can basically rapid fire the burgers. So if you need me, I'm going to be doing this for the next 20 years and then spending it all on upgrades. 
buy a power up to upgrade your gun. I already like this one. We just need a little bit of money to actually do so. So we're going to launch it and we shoot it again and again and again. Which means we reach 57 meters for $57. And for that kind of money we can afford precisely zero upgrades. So let's do it again. We're just going to keep shooting the ground. Take that earth. That was maybe a bad shot. $27? I gotta do better. So we could buy first shot power. Or we could see how much the next gun costs. It's actually just straight up locked. I can see the guns, but I cannot buy the guns. So we're going to get first shot power. And then we're going to figure out how to properly launch this bad boy. Probably not like that. We're getting worse. Luckily, when you uh run out here, we can just continually fire. We touched a new record. Managed to break a new record with this one. 69 meters. What I'm really learning is this is a momentum game. An extra shot would be uh, very, very good. So the first shot I'm still working on this was really bad. But basically, we got to go that way. But while I'm here, let's take extra bullet power. And then we're going to fire the gun again. Hopefully a little more that way. Ah, uh, that might work actually. I didn't realize you could bounce off the ground. I can't shoot now. I'm facing the wrong way. Oh, an ammo box. We broke 100 meters for the first time, so we're starting to make some real money. Okay, there's under $44. Another bullet count. Another bullet to fire somewhere out into the world. We're trying to murder the earth. We're trying to keep a little bit of elevation while also not flipping the gun backwards. New record. Did I have a new gun yet? Can I have a new gun? There's so many fun looking guns. There's epic and legendary guns. We'll take a little bit more bullet power since we had exactly enough for that. Then we're going to launch it maybe that way-ish, that way, that way. I think this is going to be a good one. We got to keep a little bit of elevation at some point though. And it would be nice to get an ammo crate. We'll take more first shot power too because we can afford it. The first shot, I'm still a little on the fence of the best way to uh, execute that. We got to keep elevation as much as uh, momentum. Back flip, front flip good and we bought ourselves another bullet i think i misclicked to get into this screen i would love one of these though this one is pretty good because i managed to bounce on the ground a lot well it's still not a new record but we're getting better that's not at all due to skill that's just due to getting enough upgrades that it makes up for our lack of skill because this is a really bad one i swear i do better when i'm not recording uh upgrades are getting expensive we're gonna take an extra bullet uh every extra bullet's really gonna give us extra potential to go far come on flip back got it Ooh, ammo box. Two ammo boxes. This is going to be a good one. Look at us go. Light speed. Oh, we missed all the ammo boxes. Who's steering this thing? 561 meters. Oh, did we unlock a new gun? Is that what that is? It looks like we might have got ourselves a new gun. This has plus 10% red stuff. So I think that means it just has a little more bullet power. Um... It's a little bit of a lackluster run, but that's thanks to my poor skills. But we made it 278 meters. We're about one third of the way to a, looks like a grapple gun. So let's take a little more ammo boxes. We'll take extra bullet power. We'll take a bullet count for sure. Then first shot power times two. So we're going to just keep on shooting our way. Hopefully that flips properly. Perfect. Uh... I'd say I meant to do that, but it was more so I hoped that would happen. Whoa, okay, so once you're falling downwards, you really can't pick up your momentum again. This one was a pretty good one. I didn't hit any ammo crates, but we make it 280 meters without doing anything special. I hit an ammo crate this time, and I just realized the ammo crate actually gives you a momentum boost as well. So we made 430 meters-ish on a single. So we do need more ammo boxes. I'm going to buy one bullet count and more ammo boxes. That hopefully means we can hit a few more. I already screwed that up. You got to hit it right at about that angle so it gets you moving. We missed the ammo box, but what can you do about that? Still pretty good considering. Never mind. Backwards, forwards. Oh, here we go. <laughs> we got this under control. 325 meters. Then let's add 5% bullet power and first shot power. Eventually, these are really going to start to add up. Uh, I definitely actually notice a very minor difference there, believe it or not. Uh, but when you, whoops, <laughs> fire things enough times, you start to notice the little things. Oh, do we have to fire the rest? There you go. I do find it very satisfying not only just to play this, but how quickly you can get back to shooting again. It's like two quick clicks and you're back. Because when I'm just caffeinated, I don't want to wait for anything. There we go. That was pretty good. And we're going to do a bunch of fun flips and miss the ammo crate. 542. I think we got to get a thousand meters for this super gun. But if we buy another bullet, that's going to get us that much closer. We just need to have better shots. Okay, I did hit an ammo crate here. We're flying pretty low though. We're going to need... Never mind. I'm going to take ammo boxes again and bullet power. Each one of those is 5%, so that's considerable. This one... Oh, I thought I was going to get that ammo crate. Okay, we missed that one too. And you can go out of frame for a long time, so that's good to know. I forgot that once you're falling, you really 
immediately can't recover yourself. There's a speed boost. Uh, we didn't actually get any ammo from those. We just got speed. That's definitely the furthest I've ever launched a gun, which gives us an extra bullet count, which is huge. And then let's take ammo boxes. Do ammo boxes not actually give you ammo or do only some of them? I should really learn how this game works before I play it. So we're moving at really good speed here. Uh, we're out of bullets though. We gotta break a thousand. We broke a thousand. Oh, okay. We're going light speed. Okay. And we lost it all because we're going upwards. No extra ammo though. Can we get an extra extra gun out of this? Because we're getting quite far. Well, we got the gun that looks like a toy that a toddler would draw. Hey, before doing anything, we're going to the armory. This has plus 15% blue stuff. It's the basic alien gun. Does it fire lasers? It does fire lasers. So if I learned from the last time we can stay uh, low and quick is maybe the way to do it, provided we can actually hit some of the damn ammo crates along the way, which we can't. But I mean, this uh, is a thousand meter launch. That's easy enough. If we can make a thousand dollars every launch, we'll be in good shape. We also have about three thousand dollars now. So let's get two more bullets and first shot power. We can fire 13 bullets now. This is slowly turning into a clicker game and I'm all about that. I love to click things. We're gonna launch. Let's get a little more speed, please. Perfect. Good. There's an extra speedy dude. We need more spin. Well, there's some spin, but I didn't want it to come with altitude and it's very hard to time this now because it's quick. Uh, there. Got it. And whoops, that was okay. Well, I guess we'll rest here then. 1250. I feel like we need more bullet power in general. We just don't have enough on this laser gun. Now, hopefully we get a bit of a nice low and quick launch. As long as we keep the rotation going too. We start to run out of rotation room. Okay, we got some good. Yep, perfect. This could be a good one. I have a good feeling. Gotta get some height again. Let's just stay up because we got the speed and we got a new gun. We unlocked the water pistol and we launch into orbit. That's very satisfying. 3,000 meters. We're going to make so much money. I accept 3,864 meters. So we get this gun. It's got 15% yellow stuff. I'm not really sure what the yellow stuff is. I don't remember. It is a water gun. That means it's very light though because it's made out of plastic. Uh, It seems to be able to fire bullets rather strongly. So I'm not going to complain. Keep going. Keep going. Yep. Good. This is a really good one, considering we didn't really hit many crates. If this could just be the average run moving forward, we'd be very rich. We've already unlocked the next gun. It's like Super Nintendo gun from Duck Hunt. I killed so many ducks with that gun. 3,700 meters. I will take that all day long. I'm not even getting a chance to spend my money, so we get plus 15% explosive number one. That doesn't sound like something you'd ever want. But it does fire lasers pretty good. Ooh, almost lost it there. Okay, I might have lost it anyway. This is my own fault. I don't know what I was thinking there. I guess I wasn't thinking. We usually do better when I don't think, to be fair. So, yeah, not bad. Again, this is just a pretty, actually a bad run, and we're making it almost 2,000 meters. The Earth is really hard to kill. Okay, now that we have $10,000 to spend, bullet count, bullet count, bullet count, I don't know, ammo boxes? Because now we have 16 bullets to spend. So as long as we're using them fairly efficiently and still getting our rotation, not like that. Okay, I screwed this one up. I have no one to blame but myself. We might be able to recover this, though, because we're just that good sort of not really what is lucky keep going it's all about the upgrades uh we'll still make money on this one at least uh we won't necessarily unlock a new gun but we'll try our best to get some good distance i tried to time them through the ammo box whatever we got 85 percent of the way to a new gun i'm not gonna complain we actually got really close to the new gun annoyingly close really why why must the game do this to me so let's take that first shot power up a little bit because it'd be fun just to get a big old launch right away. The first shot always feels weak. I think that's because I have trouble uh, understanding the angle of that first shot. From there, I got a pretty good idea of where, where it needs to be. I just screw it up a lot. Like right now, we're a little bit low. We recovered that. That was a little bit too horizontal. There we go. Now we have some speed. And we're going to blast through. And we're going to touch the ground and hopefully launch again. Wow, we were... Oh, that was such a bad bounce. We would have gone so far, we got nowhere. I guess it's kind of funny because we probably hit the moon there. So we get $3,300 for that, so we get extra bullet power. This next one was going good. I screwed up that shot really badly. That was going to be a record for sure. It still might be. We have four bullets. I just need to see where we're coming down and how to reorient my stupid gun. Why can't they do the thinking for themselves? Oh, wait. We got a new gun and we're still going. New gun, 4,000 meters. And we're still going 5,000 meters. That'd probably be a new gun if we already had the new gun. But next we get the Nerf Blaster. So that's going to give us that gun. So it gives us plus one, plus 15% of those things. And it looks very, uh, you know, scary and intimidating. Very scary gun. 
want to get a little bit lower okay this run is not going as well as i would have liked so we'll get lower into the zone of ammo crates i screwed that up so bad we don't need to talk about this one i will buy some more ammo boxes and also bought an extra bullet count so we can fire 17 bullets so as long as we're firing those fairly efficiently, we're going places. Even just on bullet power now, we can get going really quick. When we do it ammo crates, all the better. Uh, when we hit orbit, not super great, but we're still going places. Next, I get like a blunderbuss, so I'm really excited about that one. Four bullets left, though. I don't know when we're coming back down. There we are. Welcome back to Earth. Well, at least for a second. Then we bounce back out into Oblivionville. Uh, so we'll try and keep it going like that. I'm just guesstimating where I'm shooting at this point, but we did it. 5,000 meters, 5,000 meters, and a new record, and sparkles, it's raining confetti from the sky. So we've unlocked the Corsair Especial, that's 15%, I think bullet power and maybe an extra bullet. Anyways, it looks like this, so we're just going to launch it like we normally do, hopefully through the field of those things, getting back off the ground and trying to time this again. This was a bad launch. Might still be able to recover this actually, if we just use a few bullets and get a few lucky crates. Oh, keep it up, keep it up. There we are. So far, so good. It's pretty good that even on a failed launch, we're cruising past 2,000 meters. Uh, next, we get an Uzi, so hopefully that's rapid fire. Actually, I hope not, because that's kind of counterproductive. So this gun, I believe, was these two. Bullet power and first shot power. We'll take one of these, one of these, one of these, one of these, and one of these. It's good to have all the bullets, but we need to make every one of those count, too. We need to get picky with our uh, choosings now. This was a bad shot again. We've already lost all of our speed, and we just did it again. Okay, now we're back on track. The ammo crate. I seem to hit more than when I keep it fairly low like this, so now we're getting somewhere. That was the last one, so hopefully we get a good launch. We're into the moon. We're 65% of the way there. Okay, with that bounce, we're definitely not getting the Uzi. Okay, this one obviously set up to be a better one because we're light speeding through this. Uh, I don't really know what happened. I kind of zoned out. I was thinking about coffee, and before you know it, here we are. So we got the Uzi and then some. That was a new record. We blew past it. And we got into a weird green zone. So we're into like radioactive land. And we're still going pretty fast. 9,000 meters. That's probably like six guns from now. But I think I might have learned a new strategy here. The little blunderbuss that could. That's worth $10,000. So we get the Uzi. That's got plus 15% ammo crates and whatever. Uh, this gun's probably actually better. But we're going to use this just to show that I can. So I realized that I, even if I get a little bit high, I can still keep myself going. So I shouldn't do exactly what I just did but basically we just keep going like this and eventually we hit the ammo crates and we stay just a little bit higher than I have been and before you know it we're going light speed and then we're setting new records I shouldn't have waited there we got to keep being consistent with that then well we missed all the ammo crates but you get the idea we we're going fast the next one looks like a gun you would just stab people with instead which kind of defeats the purpose of a gun but it looks like the ray gun from call of duty zombies I think we're about to unlock it anyway just because my new strategy actually works so I did something right today. I should celebrate. Oh, it's a halo gun. Yeah, I'll take a halo gun. Plus bullet power, plus ammo crates. Uh, plus we've also added two extra bullets, so we're now firing 19 bullets per. Wow, that's a really bad start. I feel like this one spins faster or something. Does it spin faster? I can't tell now. I'm, I'm really, well, whatever. This is a throwaway. Am I going crazy? Is the caffeine wearing off? No, okay, now, well, hmm. Okay, so far this gun is my enemy. I don't know why I can't make this one work. I think it's just extra powerful or something. The extra power is throwing me off. So whatever, we can recover this. There we go. We're about to hit light speed. There we go. We have extra bullets anyway, so we get away with this. I want whatever's next. I don't know what it is about this gun, but it's throwing me off. We still have two bullets. Uh, we're making a couple hundred meters per second currently, so that's okay. We'll see if we make the new gun, which I think we will. Even without firing, we should get there. Okay, we unlocked whatever that thing is. Don't recognize it, don't care. We're just gonna keep on cruising along. Mostly because I need this money for upgrades, but I'm happy to say goodbye to this gun. It also floats. It won't come back down from space, whatever. Go there and there. Probably not a new record. I don't remember where record is, but it's probably actually not far off. Next on our fun guns is the bolt gun. It's 15% uh, bullet power and I think one extra bullet. Next, we're getting into the rare stuff. So we get three stats at once. This one's quite uh, compact, so it might spin easier. I don't know if that's actually a thing in this game or not. I like this gun so far because it feels good. I just need to keep consistently shooting it every time it makes a circle, but it gets quicker as it goes. I I like this gun. We're going so quick. I can't even look at the speed right now. We need some elevation. Perfect. Okay, I'm out of uh, touches, so we're going airborne. Definitely going probably 300 meters per second right now. We got a new gun, and we're going to have a new record. There it goes. 10,000 meters. 
or it is going and going and going. Whatever this gun was, I like it. Next, we get a super soaker. There's 14,000 meters coming up on 15,000 meters. This was definitely a new record and going to be a lot of money. I'm actually starting to get to the point where I'm annoyed. I wish I had a bullet just to put myself back down so I can get the next gun and move on. But I'm going to make a mental note of this gun now in case one of these next ones is a struggle bus. I'm coming back to use this one. I think we've actually circled the earth. We're back in the canyon. Hopefully this next gun is as good. I mean, it is rare, so in theory it should be. Using the power of water, we're going places. Yeah, I think I like this gun too. It seems to just feel right. They probably all act entirely the same. Aside from their bonus stats, I'm just being you know me so far so good we are whoops as i was saying that well we got two bullets in case we need to uh you know pick it up again which we might we're going about as fast okay that wasn't good but i think we're probably going to unlock a new gun provided we get a good landing somewhere here i do have one more bullet to help uh bring myself along there's a new gun though. All right, it's a golden AK. I'm okay with this actually because we're about to just touch down and we got a new gun. I love how short-lived some of these are. Warlord is next. 15% golden AK thing. So let's see how this one behaves. So far it's going a little bit higher than I would have liked. Uh, That's not the gun's fault though, that's me. But we do have $40,000 to spend so we're going to buy two more bullets and probably bullet power and ammo boxes. But those are also actually really colossal upgrades at this point just given how powerful the gun already is uh so there we go we got our speed going now it just got to keep us elevated and we can get a little more speed if we want to but i mean whoops speed isn't really necessary uh we hit orbit a little bit quicker uh our speed is still decent and we do have eight bullets so if we need to get ourselves going again we could have we just screwed that up in a big bad way i don't love this gun i think the shape of it is throwing me off i should be going by that little white line but i tend to look at the gun which direction it's facing when i fire so that's not doing me any favors but we did actually recover this halfway decently. And I think we're going to run out of space. I didn't notice the pink rainbows. We usually fly over this section. It's so nice here. Yep, that's fine. Take your time, gun. I've got, I've got all day. I'll just wait for you to bounce along the ground. It's a very slippery gun. This slides along the ground. Well, we still get $8,000. So let's just get a little bit of first shot power. I feel like we're lacking that. So there we go. And we're off. I got a pretty good balance going here. Probably because I wasn't talking while doing it. And I get this really focused because I feel like we're going quick. I don't want to look at the speed right now, but it's probably quick. Yep, that's 300 meters per second or something, and we're probably a little ways up there. I wish there was a height meter, so we should unlock this thing rather easily. And the golden AK is slowly bouncing its way past 15,000 meters. So I don't think it's a new record, but it's a lot of money. You probably already have too much money if you have a gold-plated AK, but you can never have enough. So now it's the MIB gun, Man in Black, I believe. I feel like this is the kind I'm going to like because it's nice and short. Uh, I don't know why, but mentally that does stuff for me. Uh, we had a really good launch with the new MIB gun. We missed the beginning, but oh, we still had a bullet. Neat. So we're just cruising by at around 9,500 meters. We're going two or 300 meters a second. So this might well be a new gun. It's got to be close. 97. Oh, maybe it won't be a new gun. It's painfully close though. 98. Well, we got 98% of the way there. I'm feeling pretty confident though. This gun spins pretty quickly, shouldn't have missed a shot there, so there we go, we're getting up the cruising speed. And we're hitting a ton of ammo crates. Uh, this might be a new record for speed, just based on that, get up high, get up high. Uh oh, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I lost control. Uh, I accidentally just fired again while I was in the air. You know what? I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna make it this time. We're going pretty quick. Uh, we hit our first bounce. We get a huge barreled gun. Not sure where that's from. Don't really care. Give me the money. I wonder what other fun biomes we're gonna find. Maybe we just circle the earth. I'm not really sure how this works. This is a yellow foggy one. Maybe bigger guns have the advantage though because they occupy more space and hit more crates. Our very first epic gun, the hell gun. Not entirely sure where that's from, but that's okay because we're about to launch it very, very far, very fast. Propelled by its own bullets. Uh, It wasn't a very good launch, I won't lie to you, but we're getting speed now. I don't know if there's a max speed anyway, so... I don't know if it's more efficient to actually space it out once you're kind of at this stage, but eh, we're at a pretty good speed, I think. Yeah, that's definitely cooking. I'm pretty sure this is going to be another gun right away, and I'm not complaining with that whatsoever. Many hundreds of meters every single second. There's the new gun right away, and I'll see you in 10 minutes when this thing comes back down to Earth. If it comes back, I feel like at some point they're just going to float into space. It's basically learn to fly, but instead of a penguin, we're sending guns into the atmosphere. So we've graduated to the shotgun. 
which gives a 15% boost to all the stats. Which, curiously, I haven't really needed to upgrade in a while. I like how this fires the shells. I think I might like this gun. I just gotta get it back pointed in the right direction. So there we go. There's kind of that sweet spot where you gotta get these guns going. Now this shotgun is a decent size, so it should be able to hit lots of the crates along the way. Come on, crates. We're like dodging them somehow. Well, that wasn't great, but I've had worse launches too. Uh, we're already touching down, so yeah, it's definitely not great. Even a failed launch though is getting us 10,500 meters. $50,000 to spend. Let's maybe just do ammo boxes a few times and then bullet power and then one shot power. That should get us going nicely. Then we're just going to try and time it a little better than that. You really need to keep that momentum up. The speed really falls off quickly if you're not keeping yourself up. This is a better launch and I'm going to just lose a little bit of elevation there with the sacrifice. I got to get into the sweet spot of all these crates. We hit a few in a hurry. Didn't mean to touch the ground there. I mean, we're still moving pretty quick, so we'll get some distance. We might still make that depending on how high up we are. I really want an altimeter. Whoops. Uh, honestly, we might still make it. I've got five bullets. I just need to get a controlled launch forward again. Can you come down nice and slowly, gun, please? We'll still make it. We're already at 95%. We're just so high now. Our guns are so powerful that we basically just make it. Pretty sure that's a Star Wars gun, I think. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Not that you guys already won't. Yes, that's the solo gun. Probably a Star Wars reference. So we just gotta get a decent little launch and then we're off. I like this gun. Uh, this was a halfway failed launch, but now it's actually going okay. We hit a few crates, hit a few more crates. Oh, then we're out of, yep. But uh, we're going pretty quick, obviously, like three, 400 meters per second. So we might still make it all the way to this gun. I don't have any bullets left, so we're just kind of going to let it happen. Uh, never mind, it's not that close. We've done it. We've unlocked whatever the next gun is. And then some. We didn't make it 20,000 meters, but we don't have to. We still get $16,000 to launch the solo gun. We finally done it. The Gears gun. So that's the Gears of War, I believe. So that's 15% bonus to all those stats. And it looks legendary. Uh, unfortunately, it is kind of one of these bigger guns. It always throws me off for some reason. But this one's going, well, it was going not bad. And we're a little bit of the ways to where we need to be. Oh, okay, this is a failed run for sure. In fact, let's just see if we can stop it here. Uh, yeah, shoot it backwards. It, um, there it goes. The gun is legendary. I am not. I do play better with shorter guns, I think, because I end up watching the guns more than the white lines. So this is okay, though. I got the rhythm down. Shouldn't have missed that one. We're okay. Keep it up. There we go. Actually, at this point, I could probably kind of maintain speed, really. I don't know what's going to be better. Whatever I've been doing has clearly been working, so, um, we have the bullet power now to float a little bit, too. There we go. I think this will work out fine. Uh, we finally hit the ground, but we were like 10,000 meters when we did, so this might be a new record. Uh, we touched the ground again there, but I mean, we're at 90% on our second touchdown, so we got the new gun. Uh, 19,000 meters, 20,000, 20,000 and change. We just broke our record around the 21,000 meter mark, and we're still going pretty quick. And we're in bubblegum rainbow land. This feels right. This is it. It's time for the big boy gun, the legendary rainbow gun. And it it looks mean. So hopefully we do it justice by getting a pretty good launch. Uh, I can live with this. So we'll just kind of keep it afloat and we'll hopefully hit some weapon crates at some point. Keep it up. There we go. Now we're going places. Oh, that's going to be close. Okay, we're getting speed now. Yep, this will work out real fine. We're going so quick. Plus we get huge bonuses to all of our stats. Okay, we're at zero bullets. So we touched down at 10,000. Oh, we didn't get a lot of height there though. That was a really bad bounce. Uh, another bad bounce. Uh, well, I... It's saying something when your bad bounce still gets you almost 20,000 meters. The unicorn gun is everything I hoped it would be. 18,000, 18,500. Yeah, this will still be 20,000 meters on a bad, bad one. Well, since we have $60,000 to work with, let's just get a few more ammo boxes. And wow, upgrades are so expensive now. I guess it is lucky that this gun has its natural stat boost, so we don't need to work hard for stats anymore. We just need to get proper shots, which means we'll get good speed going. We can probably do two spins now sometimes. Ooh, that's close. Okay, two spins is maybe a bad idea. Depends on how fast the unicorn is spinning, I guess. That's bad. I've determined that the unicorn gun is kind of hard to use because of its size, but I mean, there was still 9,000 when we hit our launch and it's going. It's very powerful, but I find a smaller one somehow easier to use. I don't know if they actually rotate faster or it just feels like they do. Either way, this thing's going long on another bad launch. Well, I'm very satisfied with this. It's been a very satisfying time. On to the next wonderfully stupid idea. 20,000 meters. It turns out the basketball sized diamonds are really, really heavy. The cure for that is to have them just lifted again and again and again, each one getting us a little bit stronger and a little bit more money. 
You'd think if he was strong enough to ram his fist straight into the diamond, he'd be strong enough to lift it. Along the way, we're gonna use our little bit of currency to get a little bit of upgrades and they get expensive quickly. But just like that, we have a 1 in 3 chance of doing a critical hit. But since lifting this massive diamond uses up all of this stamina, we're gonna shave off a few thousand pounds and go back to the 3 ton ones. These ones I can lift rapid fire and that stamina bar doesn't even move. I do earn 3 times less from this, but I do it 5 times as fast. And at any point I can do these challenges, so I've got 30 seconds to lift this 50 times. Correction, 40 seconds to lift it 50 times, but we're gonna be just fine. We've already done 12, 13 reps. But it's closer than I thought in the end. We've got a few reps to go. We've got 5 seconds left. We did it with 3.8 to spare, but we got 50 gems. And we use these gems to get a new hair, a new clothes, or a relic. So we're gonna spend the 500 gems we managed to just earn on all sorts of new relics. And then the remaining 100 on clothes, some of which are all garbage. But look at all the things these relics do. They add stamina recovery, gold acquisition, experience acquisition. We just bought so many that that's actually really going to help us. And we can also refine them from here. I think that basically means you can combine two into one or discount them down. So we have 0.3% less stamina consumption. And then basically we're right back to work doing reps endlessly. He's going to work over the next thousand years. And occasionally we can arm wrestle people. The stronger we are, obviously the stronger people we could be. And we also get rewards for this. We've been lifting diamonds for a while, so we're stronger than this guy. So let's try the fitness trainer. He's a little bit tougher, but I think we can get him. Our stamina is running low though, so that might be a problem. Yup, that's going to be a problem. We've got work to do. So as a reward for being a failure, he's going to lift this a lot. He's been working hard, so he deserves a little upgrade. We still can't afford a single power upgrade, but to be fair, it is almost level 1000. What he's going to need is stamina and stamina recovery. Those arrows are really expensive, so they run out quickly. We'll get probability of crits up to 100% because we unlock something new. I've also just realized I can temporarily double all of my skills so I can actually lift the diamond for short periods of time. That's going to be big earnings. But that just goes to show you, if I was in theory twice as strong as I am now, I'd be able to lift the diamond reasonably well. Even with all of our stats doubled, we ran out of energy. But we've also earned so much in the last little bit that we could definitely get a few more little upgrades for ourselves. And then by the time I've even clicked on all those and bought them, we're back up to half stamina. I definitely am going to put a few more points into crit probability because every time we do one of those, it basically lifts the weight instantly or it gives me a 900% boost. And I don't know if we're ready to do this, but if we get crits, the point being that we can actually lift this 10 times in 30 seconds. We're actually going to make this look pretty easy, so we're going to unlock whatever's after diamond, which has got to be something pretty heavy. So after diamonds goes these spiky umbrella things, 10 tons. They're twice the weight of diamonds. I'm not actually sure if I can lift these. I can't even lift them once before I run out of energy. But since I managed to earn some gems, I'm going to spend them all on some new clothes. And then for all the excess ones we have, we can combine those down the list until we get stronger and stronger clothes. And eventually they'll give us colossal bonuses. We just need a lot of them. But in order to collect clothes, we need lots of gems and those aren't super easy to get. But I have a bit of idea of how to do that. We're going to go back to the little pink weights at one kilo because these are so quick to lift that they're instantaneous. And they're still on the 30 times challenge. All I gotta do is lift these 30 times and we're gonna do that pretty much in the blink of an eye. We're even gonna be cocky about it, but then again, we're able to lift 1000 kilos per hand. These are one. And just for doing that, 30 gems times three if we want. So that's easy gems. And then it turns into a 50 times challenge, which again, isn't exactly gonna be hard considering how incredibly strong we are for such a little guy. So just like that, we've earned 240 gems so far. And presumably we could do 240 gems for each one of these different weights all the way up to about diamond. Maybe not before attempting the 100 challenge. For the later weights, we can do 100 of these in 50 seconds. That one straight up gives me 100 gems. So far I've covered three dumbbells and this is getting old fast, but we've already gotten 1600 gems. So I think to celebrate, we're going to open this times three. So there's all of what we opened. None of them are particularly good. Let's do it again. Anything good? Two number A's. Yeah, A's are number now. We made up a new definition. And two double A's plus an A, that's actually a really big boost to us. But then we gotta go back and start working our way down the list because we got a whole bunch of stuff. We'll combine all the garbage into slightly less worse garbage. We even have 25 B's at this point, which turns into 12 A's. So we get two of those, which turn into one double A, which are gonna combine into one S. That means gold, experience acquisition, stamina recovery go up to 3,200 times. They were at like 600 before. And we have a new outfit to look at, so that helps. So to give that little perspective, we're going to go back to the diamond lifting, and we can actually lift the diamond now without our stamina actually dropping. That's the power of a good outfit. That's still not quite enough for the next dumbbell, but we can at least lift it at this point. And over this time, we have earned almost 100 Cs. So let's just spend that all on critical probability. It'll take us from 36.4 to 38.3. I thought that would be a lot more dramatic. Well, if you came for good decisions, you've come to the wrong place. 
since he's not getting strong enough fast enough, I'm going to punish him by letting him just pump this diamond for a little while. Sometime later, we've almost closed out level 47 and we have 1200 Cs, which is actually enough to finally buy one more strength upgrade and then we're also going to get some stamina recovery and stamina. You know what, I'm just going to rotate in between the three because I really don't understand the numbers in this game anyway. We're getting stronger, we're getting better, that's all that matters. So after spending all that money on upgrades, diamonds are even easier again. But did all those upgrades make anything of a difference for this? Well, we can lift it, but still only a few times before we're completely out of stamina. Unfortunately, I have a solution for that. Another three dumbbells challenges completed, another 1900 gems to spend. I feel like I'm tired of our haircut though, so if we could increase this number even a little, I would be very happy. Our first box gave us two A tiers plus one double A. We're going to do that again, and that's hopefully going to give us another A and something even better again, another A. And we have 85 E class, so we're just going to start combining things until we can't combine any longer. So we combine to make another A, which can make two double A's, but still nothing can compare to our S tier. If you've been running about the probabilities of such thing, we have a 0.1% chance to get an SS tier item. I decided I am really sick of this haircut, so we saved up another 2150 gems. So now Another 55 boxes for 500 of those gems. We got one A tier out of that. We're gonna do it again and again. There's an S tier. So that by itself is gonna be a huge upgrade to us and we're just not gonna stop until we get a whole bunch of stuff. So once again, starting from the top and working our way down. So we didn't work our way to SS tier, but we did uh, increase our S tier power to 4200. So let's see how the super heavy dumbbells like this kind of power. Okay, we're getting a lot better. We can actually do this somewhat reasonably now. Stamina still runs out, but we can lift them. And we've got double abilities for five minutes, so let's sit back and relax and let the rewards roll in. Five short minutes of that, and I've got 795 Cs to spend again. Do we like strength? We all like strength. Well, well over level 1000 at this point. The rest of the points going into stamina and stamina recovery. That's going to make a moderate difference to our weightlifting at this point. Still going to be a few hours before we can master this particular dumbbell. So let's revisit our fitness trainer arm wrestle. Do we now have the strength to beat him? It looks like we do pretty handily. That was harder than it should have been considering what that took. There are also what are called the BJ challenges where I can put 300 gems on the line to challenge him and if I win I think I get double that back. He's a lot stronger than I thought he would be so hopefully we actually win we have a lot of gems on the line. I won round 1, round 2 is hopefully going to be ours. That's not overly optimistic, we lost round 2 because we didn't get our stamina boost thing and we're already out of stamina so that's not great. We didn't actually lose any of our gems though so that's optimistic. So while we're waiting to do that again, we're going to do some of the challenges from our earlier dumbbells. Saved up another 2200 gems. And we're really close to an SS tier haircut. So with a little bit of luck, we're going to be able to upgrade to one right away. That's not a very good start. We did get an A tier. We got a bunch more A tiers. That might actually be enough all by itself. Not as lucky this time around. We do have 261 gems left over. But I suspect with everything we just got, we can work our way way down the list and that's going to be fine. So an S tier gives us 4200 times boost. And an SS tier gives us 3500, 1A, 30, whatever that means. A lot more. Plus, the hat matches the outfit entirely, but we're lifting the diamond a lot quicker. So then going back to our new lifty thing, we can actually lift it reasonably at this point. Like, this isn't that bad. Our stamina is draining, but we can lift it pretty well. You'd think after 10 years straight of lifting weights, they'd start to put a little bit of size on their arms. I wonder if when we're doing our boost, we can start our challenge. Does it roll over into here? I don't know if it does, but we're able to do the 10 lifts with this dumbbell by now. We made that look easy, plus we get a nice reward. So next are orange dumbbells. I think they're actually dragon balls, but they're 15 tons each as opposed to the 10 tons we were just lifting. They're heavy, but we are actually able to lift them at this point. Mostly thanks to our amazing hat that has a large stain on it. And we saved up another 2155 Cs, which can all go into strength from level 1013 to 1030. We can put whatever's left probably into critical probability, which wasn't actually a lot. But those extra few strength upgrades means we can lift a little bit easier actually, it's probably noticeable. So we're going to go back to the skull dumbbells and start doing the challenges there. Because we still need a little bit of help to carry ourselves forward. And to think that these dumbbells used to be unreasonably heavy for us. Plus this person can appreciate that even after death they're doing something useful for someone else. Another 1700 gems later and we're going to hope to get lucky with our clothes. That's actually incredibly lucky. There's two S tiers in there, plus a bunch of A's and double A's. So maybe as we level up, we get luckier, or that was just unreasonably lucky. I can't yet tell. We were just unreasonably lucky. Whatever the case, we now have a three times S shirt, which actually makes us a lot stronger just by existing. Combining everything down, we can actually even add one more to that. So we're going to go from 3884 to 4200 times. 
So let's see what our Dragon Balls think of that new strength. They're still unreasonably heavy, so we've just got some lifting to do. We've taken one step back to this dumbbell, and we're just going to go like this for a little while to build up that strength and money. Then we'll come back stronger than ever. Several hours later, we're up to level 50, and we have 1D money. So let's go ahead and see what that does for our strength from level 1030 all the way up to 1070. And then of course our stamina recovery gets a few levels itself. So lifting this thing gets a little bit quicker. As for the Dragon Balls, still a little bit slow. You need a colossal amount of strength to be able to use these properly because I've been doing this for a long time. Up next on our list to arm wrestle is the Terminator himself. So we're going to see how this goes. We've come a long way since our last one, so we should be able to beat him pretty easily. We're so strong we can defeat the Terminator twice with barely any effort. Since we made the Terminator look easy, let's move on to the next fight, which should be considerably harder. And so far so good, I th our stamina is getting low. If we had to beat him quickly, I would feel better about this. We did manage to beat him, but we're down to half stamina, so we really need to hope for something good to happen here. But we're about to hit our super mode, so that actually works out perfectly. Easy win for us. Since it gave us some more money, let's work on stamina recovery. We can hopefully bring that right up to level 1000, pretty close, and increase stamina while we're at it may be critical cr probability. We're probably also at the point where we can lift 30 of these in 30 seconds for the challenge, I don't think that's going to be that hard. Our stamina is actually so crazy at this point that the green bar doesn't really even move anymore, it's just a hair. We're crazy strong. So we can bust out 50 of these, no problem. And we started out struggling with the diamond. Now we're making it look stupidly easy. After completing the few remaining challenges, I could another thousand gems. And what we really need is the SS tier shirt. So our first 500 gems opens 55 of these for hopefully something amazing. We got some A tiers. That's helpful. We need S tiers. There are some double A's and some A's. Plus, is going to spend our remaining few gems on whatever's left. We did get a few A's. And let's start the combining party. It looks like since we leveled up, we're not really finding E's anymore, and that's really helpful. Okay, we have 12 A's, which turn into uh, more than 5 of these, so we can combine that, and we combine our S into an SS. So we go from 4,500, 4,200 rather, up to a lot more. I think that means 10. So I think that's essentially 3 times as good. So 3 times the gold, 3 times the experience acquisition, and 3 times stamina recovery. Stamina recovery might help me a lot here, because it takes a lot of energy to lift this thing, but if the stamina recovery goes quickly, it's not that big a deal. At least now when I have my ability doubler enabled, my green bar hardly moves and we can just lift this thing normally. You know what? I bet we could even do 10 of these in a, the, a lot of time now. I think we got 30 seconds. Oh, we can easily do it. We did 10 of them in under 10 seconds, so that's a good sign. Where things might run into trouble is the Eye of Sora, and it's almost double our weight. It's over a 50% increase. We can actually lift that fairly easily, though my stats are currently doubled. We're definitely earning some money, though. It only takes us uh, about 8 of these to earn 1D. Plus, we just rocketed through to level 51 and change. Look at how fast our stamina comes back, though. It rockets back to the top. It used to take a long time to get through that. So clearly what I'm going to need is more strength. We're level 1070, we're going to take that up to almost 1100, another 25 levels. So does that make a difference? It's a slow start and it's really not noticeable yet. We need a lot more strength to be able to do these ones. So we'll test our strength against these guys again. Uh, this guy we couldn't beat earlier, he absolutely destroyed us. I didn't have my auto clicker on at first, but now I do and he's defeated. Also the silver version of this guy, super easy. So what about the gold challenge of the guy wearing shorts? Okay, we made him look even easier. I wonder what's after gold? Diamond. He's only wearing shorts. How tough could he be? Okay, he's pretty tough. But at least that left us with almost 2,000 gems, so we can open a few of these for a whole bunch of new hairs. We got a bunch of A's and double A's there. I like the look of that. There's an even a double S tier. That's huge. We're going to do that one more time. And a regular S tier. And then I'm going to spend the remaining 360 doing the same thing, but just 100 at a time. Well, we didn't get up to the R tier. We did double our S tier bonus, so this bonus actually increased by quite a lot. The ratio of this is really rough. Every 5 increases the 1 below, so it goes 25 when you have to skip over 1, and 125 if you have to skip over 2. So even after everything above, we managed to increase the S tier by 2, which we don't need. If we get 2 more S tiers, we can increase the double S by 1. Long story short, we have more power and stamina. Is it enough to conceivably make a difference? No, not really. So lucky them, they get to keep this hat for the next 100,000 years.